Okay, give it a minute. And get it, let people come in. I pulled out the wax seal stuff. Thought we might do some calligraphy. We'll see. So, no real plan yet. Other than I got some of these new kind of wax seal glue sticks. And then I also have the, these that I've had for quite a few years that I haven't used uh, much. So I thought we'd do that. And uh, let's see. I will need a candle to keep my little heat thing going. Let's see. Um, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and I thought we might do some calligraphy. Here's some of my stuff that I have that I haven't used in a while. But Mary has been doing wax seal stuff. And I said, well, I don't really want to do wax seals, Mary. You're just, she's like, no, do it. Do it. I said, okay. So and I also got some clear here. So I got a lot of different equipment. And I did get me a B stamp like I got Mary on. What else do I have here? These are my old, these are from doing calligraphy. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Molly. Let's see. Molly, Leah, Pamela, Stephanie, Icy, Julie Topaz. Hey, Julie Topaz. Happy Marvelous Monday. Hi, Aunt Beck. Uh, Alexis, uh, Kel, uh terry brett barbara chicken pot pie society <laughs> so i pulled out my uh stuff and i did get a new glue gun so i have the old eileen's tacky ones very uh, it's very professional i so said i'm just going to get one of these because it, it this is what they recommend with the for at hobby lobby and it's just a you know hopefully this is going to work i haven't even tried it yet so we're going to all try it together plus i hope sandra comes in because and she may or may not hey marsh marsh we're doing wax seals today and calligraphy i'm going to maybe do a little calligraphy i'm you know i haven't done even haven't done a, a certificate lately it's been a while since i even did a certificate for my local dojo but uh, I used to be a professional calligrapher years like I'm OK. Should I dare I say in the 80s? <laughs> but uh, so I don't really do a lot of calligraphy anymore. Now I kind of do the brush lettering, you know, the kind of just swirly letters. But I used to do um, black letter, old English lettering uh, certificates, um, you know, verse, poems all that kind of thing um years ago and i do have i'll tell the story again about one of my calligraphies i'll, I'll try to remember hi beth um let's see who else those wax seals using heat guns seem easy peasy i know right right rather than putting the little you know oh i'm gonna try both but i did get a set of the these uh colors here and you put them in the little spoon and i did get the little heat holder so you put your little candle you have a little holder you put your little candle under there and then you can keep them keep it hot you know uh but yeah the glue gun is probably the way to go i also have a little bit of gold flakes um, I have the uh, rub and buff and, you know, stuff to rub on the seals to make them. Here's a couple that we did a couple weeks ago, like this one here. Um, so we did do a couple a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago. And um, y'all know if y'all follow Mary, she's been doing um, she's been doing all kinds of uh, wax seal stuff. But I used to do it with these kind, this kind right here, where you would just, they're like a candle, you'd melt it and just drip it and you just let it, you know, like a candle and you just drip the wax and then add, you got a little puddle of it, then you'd put your seal in. I uh, didn't have all this back when I was doing calligraphy with a wax seal. So, um, but yeah, so we'll see. Um, we'll see what we want to do today. I do have a haul. <laughs> get, get ready, Marsh. Marsh, are <laughs> any of you guys? I always throw down my man cards. It's, it's just a little joke. Don't anybody get all, you know, been out of shape. Don't anybody email me. But um, so anyway, I do have um, 
And one of these things came, I, well, no, I guess I bought this. This is a wax seal silicone mat. But I just use parchment paper. Like I told Mary, parchment paper. So let's see, B, who else am I missing? Pam, Maseki, anybody else coming in? I use a candle one for my wedding invitations. Yeah, B, yeah. That's what we used to do. We used to just, we used to just drip this kind. Well, it's a little bit more than just candle wax. It's a little softer so that when you mash into it, it does, you know, the seal does work a little better than just regular candle wax. I think this has some, that has beeswax in it, so it's softer. But um, yeah, so I do have quite a few different seals here and a couple, two or three different handles that we can use if I need to switch it up. But anyway, so yeah, we'll, uh, uh, and I do have these extra nibs. I think I got these are, these are more nibs for um, uh, decorative, not really for using. I use them in like projects, but they're in there. And um, you could put little pieces of ribbon, and you'd wax seal a ribbon in there. Um, let's see. What else? I think that's pretty much. Let me take out my B stamp. Um, I did get uh, Mary one of these as well and sent it to Mary. I don't know if this is instructions. Um, so I did get a B, a bumblebee. So we got that. Let's see what this says in here. Is there anything? Um, screw, screw the wax seal. Hell, melted wax. Uh, lift wax seal. Yeah, there's really nothing to see. Uh, nothing to see there. But they do unscrew, and so you can you can just buy you can just buy wax seals like this. Like I bought a number set. Uh, I bought a number set there, and I have a few. I don't have a lot. I have a inkwell. I have a B. Um, I did, I did buy the set of, um, space, there's the numbers, I bought a set of the space ones, like Constellation, there's a Constellation, there's, um, that's my inkwell, then there's this one with the planets, I'm trying to, the planet, the, I think it's the moon and earth there, um, what else one, and then here's another one with the hand on the moon, Kind of hard to see there. And uh, yeah, I got a couple that are on here. This one has a fleur de lis that's still got wax stuck on it from whenever I used it. How many ever years ago? Then I just got a flat one here. And uh, Mary um, was started using her hand carved rubber stamps. So I, you know, you know, I got the here's a little rabbit. We can try the year of the rabbit and we'll just try to. Plus, I have my own hand carved stamps. So we'll see about doing all that. Hi, Pacola, my little snapdragon. Who else is here? I have Terry Brett, Debbie Bruce, 3G Brenda. How you doing, 3G? Bees coloring. Pam said how to Pam. I'm trying to make sure I catch everybody. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, uh, Mary's making me. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe I'll do a little calligraphy or something and show you. Let me get a piece of parchment over here. Let's get this darker parchment like this. Um, <clears throat> let me open up this pack. So, maybe we'll do a little calligraphy, maybe do a couple names or something, do some people's names. I don't have a whole um, alphabet in um wax seals but i probably could use um an alf an alphabet um let's see here which alphabet do i want to use this one maybe might work just uh do some letter you know some um your initials in the wax seal or something we'll try that i was hoping i was hoping that xander would come in i know it's early for her hi janet how you doing so, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff out here today. <laughs> Hi, Annie Tanner. Who else am I missing? There's Tina saying good morning to everybody. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> I love my mods. They're so awesome. And uh, But I do have an amazing haul. If you all saw, let me go ahead and show you the little short that I, well, uh, the, I think it's called a reel on IG. Thank you, Tina. Let me click on everybody that she's saying good morning. So I did put up a little uh, reel on IG. 
And uh, then I did a little thank you thing for her too. So let's see, let me show you. Let me turn up the volume, go to my IG. Okay, so here's, uh, this is what Xandra sent me and I want to show, show it today. Okay, ready? Wait for it. Oh, there's no, oh wait, let me start it over with the, let me turn off the overhead light too. Hang on. All right. Let's see, where's my volume? Why isn't the volume on? Oh my gosh, Sandra. Tell Gabby, thanks so much for all her Barbies. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun to go through all these. Thanks so much for sending them to me. So Xandra sent me all of Gabby's oh Barbies. Gosh. She sent me this note. <laughs> she sent me this note. She said she had to wait to get it out of the attic when um, when her husband could help her. She said, Bar <laughs> Gabby is 32 now and never liked Barbies. You'd think I would have quit after the first three and not to get any more, R-O-F-L. <laughs> Oh, it was a Barbie card. So she said, she's 30. You would have thought, you would have thought, she said that she wouldn't, that when she wasn't playing with the first three, she wouldn't have got any more. So um, yes, Tina, these are a uh, wax seals. Now, a lot of this I already had. This right here is new. This is new. I already had this. I already had this. Uh, so, <laughs> so I did this for Zandra. And I, I need to get, I should show you, we'll see if we have time. There's so many things I want to do. I could show you a little bit. I tweaked it in um, um, uh, Procreate. I did a little tweaking in Procreate, but let me show you. Um, I'll show you what it looked like to start with. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. Okay. So here's the photo that I took. Of, whoops. Here's the photo I took. I did a mermaid photo because, you know, uh, Xandra is our resident mermaid. So I did this picture. So what I did is I took a bunch of different scrapbook papers that I had that had the C in them, right? No, I knew I was going to go into Procreate and fix this. So I put all these different papers and I did put a little wisp of some paint across the top. Okay, I put a little paint and um, and I did put a little sand down there. You really don't see it, but the paper looks like sand. Now, I will say when I was doing the Procreate, I forgot to fix that line right there. So anyway, I put her in bubbles. She is in actual bubbles in this tub. I did this out on the front porch. Um, she is sitting in bubbles. <laughs> and I did put some in her hair, but there wasn't enough, okay? There wasn't enough bubbles. So this is what the actual photo looked like originally. Okay, and then <clears throat> I went into Procreate and I did this. So I got rid of all the background papers. I could have done a little better job. Like right there, it's a little dark. I should have lightened that up. I carried the horizon across the top. I carried the sky. So I got rid of all the paper lines, but I forgot that little line right there. And then with some, br some Photoshop or uh, Procreate brushes, I went in and added more foam. <laughs> I added a bunch of foam in her hair and I foamed her. I got all kinds of, you know, sea foam all around her and bubbles. So, um, yeah, so she's on Instagram. <laughs> so this was my thank you to our mermaid Zandra for, uh, <laughs> for sending me all that Barbie stuff. <laughs> you need you need an attic. I have, well, I have an attic. I have a real attic. But I'm not going to stick my stuff. I'm using my stuff. I'm using my stuff. I really I'm I am trying to use it. And so, let me hang on. Let me go get my uh, iPad. Just a second. <clears throat> Okay, so hang on, let me let me show you it close up. Let me go into Procreate here. <clears throat> All right, so here I did put, I have two in here. So here's what it looked like originally, right? So this is what it looked like originally. And then I took and I would, 
Let's see what I want to do. I think I used the soft blend. Okay. So then what I would do is just go in here. Let's see if I can get situated here on an obvious place. And I would, let's see if I can get it to work here. Come on. Let's make sure it's showing up there. Okay. Come on, soft blend. There we go. So can you see how it's blending? So I'd get rid of all the lines. And then you, you, you decrease it, and then you can carry it out further. And then I wanted the horizon to go all the way across, so I would get this, I'd get a, let's see, let's go into, let's get some ink. And then I would just take, and let's get some blue, this dark blue maybe. I think that's what I used. And then I would go over here and then I put some blue down like this. Carry the horizon all the way across. Now I'm not, I'm being very messy, but I just want to show you how I did it. So then I carry the horizon all the way across. Then I go back to the blend and then just let's make sure it's blend this in all the way across so I'd have me a new horizon line so I can get in here so are y'all seeing this a little bit and you got to take your time and you're getting those little tiny details so you can see a zoom in and just carry that over and carry it across so then um <clears throat> and so I could just get rid of Get rid of uh, all the lines. And I'm, there's probably a ton of ways to do this. I'm just teach. I just taught myself, you know, just, uh, you know, I just kind of played around with all the brushes and the features and kind of just learned it myself. There's I have I have tons of tutorials and books on how to do everything, but um, I just kind of play around with it. So I just kind of softened everything, got rid of all the got rid of all the paper. So what I did is I was able to use. And I, hang on, I'll catch up with chat in a minute. Hi, Kat. Uh, hi, Joe. So anyway, this is the first time that in any of my Barbie photography, except I think one time I added some stars. I added some stars in one photo. But other than that, none of my photos have been um, uh, procreated. <laughs> but when I did it, I forgot to do this right here. I forgot to um, I forgot to do this right here, get rid of. Get rid of that line in the in the final piece. I forgot to do that. But anyway, then what I did is I took some a brush. I took which one did I take? Um, was it an artistic? No, it wasn't an artistic. Which one was it? Was it in spray paints? Was it splatter? I don't think it was splatter. Which one was it? Textures? I'm trying to remember which one I used. Airbrush? You know. It was, Hang on. I'm looking at trying to remember which one I used. Uh, it must have been. Maybe it was Aurora. I don't remember. I think it might have been Aurora. OK, so we're going to go with Aurora. I don't know that that's it, but I'm going to go over here and, and adjust the, you know, the you can the bigness or the smallest of how you want to do it. And then and also the opacity of it. <clears throat> and then I came over here and went into her hair so you can see how i added i added bubbles and and stuff to her hair with the brush see and then i did the same thing she didn't have enough bubbles so i gave her bubbles <laughs> gave her more bubbles and uh <laughs> Lots of bubbles and you can change the opacity and you can change the size. So some of it, it's all different, right? So I gave her bubbles, lots of, and then down here on the, on the, on the ground, I gave her more bubbles. I'm doing this real quick now. I took a little bit more time when I was doing it for the finished piece, but you can see I could add bubbles. So you can just kind of see how I did it, right? All right. So let me go back to where we started. Mama four. Who else am I missing? Hang on. Uh, let's see. Beth. Raul. Uh, hang on. And I think your birthday was a couple days. Wasn't your birthday here recent, Raul? Or 
I, I get you and Raj mixed up, especially when Raj changes his name. <laughs> Nashua, let's see. Um, Alice, who else am I missing? Jane, uh, Golden. I don't think I know you, Golden. Good morning. Anybody else? So anyway, so I played in Procreate uh, with, you know, fixing everything else. It, there's, it's really, Procreate so easy, really. There's not, a, it is so easy. I'm just saying. So then at the end, let me go back to the gallery. Hang on. Let's go back to the finished one. So this is what it ended up looking like when it was done. So again, I could have, made that a little less dark right there it kind of looks like there's a shadow from the from the uh star right there but uh, so i could have done a little better job and also like i said i should have got rid of this right there you know that line right there but uh, <clears throat> anyway so that's what i did as a thank you to zandra for sending me all the stuff i'm gonna show you guys and, um, and Hobster is not coming on for lunch. They have a new person uh, today, so they always take the new people out to lunch. So he'll be out to lunch today. So if I need to go a little long, Janet, I don't need to feed any cat food to anybody. She always teases me. If Hobster comes home and I'm still doing something, well, he's going to have to go eat some cat food. Well, he never eats cat food, and trust me, he's a better cook than me. So <laughs> he never starves. All right. So I am going to just move all this a little bit over so I can show you. I think I might do a little calligraphy, maybe you guys' as names. Maybe do your names with a seal, and that could be our giveaway today. We'll see how time, fly, you know, time does fly. And don't forget, Janet does come on at 1. So we have plenty of time. We have plenty of time today. Parchment paper. Mary finally got the hint. <laughs> I tease Mary. We all tease Mary about the parchment paper. So let me just move my wax stuff over to the side. I got a little gold leaf. I've not used this gold leaf. It came with something. And uh, this is the wax seals that I'm used to using, just melting, just melting them and um, and dip, dripping them and mashing. So, but we'll maybe do a little calligraphy. I'm going to open my new glue gun. This is a low temp glue gun made. It came, it came in the same section of Hobby Lobby as these wax seals. So I got a different, few different colors and um, a new glue gun. So we'll just go ahead and open this real quick. And now I'm going to show you what Xander got me. So I'm, I'm, I'm not reading anything. I'm assuming it's a regular old glue gun, except you're using these wax seal, um, these, they're like, it's like a glue gun, right? It's a glue gun with colorful, colorful <laughs> wax. And then I got the, uh, um, some letters that we'll try to do this for people's names. We'll give it a go. And um, so, yeah. All right. So I got this big box on Saturday and I thought, oh my gosh, I, I saw Xandra, I got a notification that she was sending me something. And uh, so I got it, and oh my gosh, you you heard what um, you heard what she said. Uh, Gabby never played with Barbie, so she sent she went up or her she got her husband to go up in the attic and got them all out and sent them to me. So I have taken uh, most of them out of well, they weren't all in the boxes; they're on their card. They're on their card, and I have un un um, attached them from their card. So let me show you one by one what she sent me so um just you know you guys hang on guys i know a lot of y'all go oh, i don't i want to see some calligraphy but we do a little of everything here so <laughs> uh let's see pixie cora we are down for whatever you want to do so oh, thanks thanks yes i know well yeah we have been around for a long time together Julie, I've known her for 13 years, going on 13 years. Janet, at least 10, 11, maybe 12 years. So um, there's some of y'all that we have been around since uh, day one, back when I was streaming on Ustream. Okay, so here's the first one. And like I said, I did take them off. They were all attached with all the, you know, twisty ties in the back. You know, they have all the twisty ties in the back. It did take me some time to... Um, unattach these i'm not keeping these i still have two in their boxes so i'll show you those but i just want to show you all the different ones she sent me so she sent me this one 
and the hair and the little crown there's a little crown with this one so i'm just going to kind of quickly show them all to you it has a necklace too she has a necklace so i just love them i cannot wait to do scenes scenery you know barbie barbie scenes okay then she sent me this one, the graduate girl, with different little, um, this one's from 1995, with a little punch out. She, Gabby didn't even punch out the, she didn't even detach them. They weren't even detached from the card. And then this one has um, blue shoes and a blue hairbrush. So I can put a little shoes on here. So... <laughs> I cannot wait to do more scenes. I think I think I've done about 30 so far. I think it's about close to 30 scenes that I've done with Barbie photography Barbie photography over the last year, a little over a year cuz I think the first one I started was in the garden last last spring. So it's going on, it's about a year I think I've been doing Barbie photography. So this one's a graduate with the little thing here and here so there's that <clears throat> then we got a ballerina <laughs> maybe I should zoom in one here let's see maybe I should zoom in oh I zoomed in too many hang on there we go so got a ballerina and a little bag and some and some wings to put on her like she's in a in a play or something right and another brush so is that too close and too bright isn't it let's turn the brightness down turn the brightness down just a, there we go there we go that's better so we got the ballerina with the uh, with the accessories <laughs> then we got <clears throat> The pet walker, so she's the dog walker. She has a little bag with treats. She came with the, the little leash that was attached to her hand here. So she had the little leash on her hand with the Dalmatian. So she came with the, her hair is nice and straight and just, oh, it reminds me. This is what my hair looked like when I was a teenager. Oh, so pretty. Anyway. <laughs> So it came with this brush and she has her little boots and socks. So uh, yeah, dog walker girl. Of course, you know, I can use the dolls with different clothes and outfits. So, all right. And this is, uh, this is not a channel. I mean, this is not a show made for kids. It's just, these were gifted to me. I'm going to show them. Can I have the crown? <laughs> Jana gets the crown. <laughs> you want me to put things? Because we have certain dolls that I've kind of, you know, we have an Arlene, we have a Janet, we have a um, uh, Shaleen, I mean, a uh, uh, Selena. We have, you know, we have different ones. I have a Denise and me. I'm the one with the glasses. Uh, not this one, but this one is a fancy one. Came with a stand. She has glass slippers in here and the brush. And she, she looks like the old vintage Barbie, right? She has the face of the vintage Barbie the little stole, the hair, the ponytail hair with the eye makeup from the 50s and the glasses. I don't know if these glasses came with her, but they need to be with her because that's from that era, right? And she has the silk dress. She has toenail polish. So I don't know if this one, yeah, see, they didn't come with, these didn't have the boxes with them. I think Xander took them out of the boxes to make them easy to mail. So we got her, she's got her gloves. She's got a pearl necklace and pearl earrings. <laughs> uh, is that better to see a little close up? Okay. Um, hi, Shaz. So yeah, she has. She came with a stand. I do. I did buy a bunch of Barbie stands. So when I'm doing the photography, I can stand them up in different, you know, things and a brush. And uh, so yeah, she's very. Um, she's going. She's going out. So anyway, this one reminds me of how the Barbies looked when I played Barbies when I was a little, little kid. Okay, so there's her. 
Uh, then these two, I did not take them out of the box yet, but I will show them to you. And they will come out of the box. But um, we have a prince and a princess. <laughs> we have Rapunzel and the prince. Prince Ken. <clears throat> And uh, which these are going to be fun because I can do renaissance fairs and stuff like that with these kind of clothes, you know, and look at the Rapunzel. I think this Rapunzel, you can, the hair will go in her head and you can pull it out and, and it comes down. So um, Rapunzel Barbie has hair that retracts, I think. And, and uh, I'm not sure. I think that's the, let down my hair from my crown again and again. So I think that's it. So anyway, I got uh, Barbie Rapunzel and Prince Ken. So Zandra, thank you so much. Let's see. Let me check on chat. Hollywood Glamour Barbie. Yes, that was. She was the uh, one with the sunglasses. Hollywood Glamour Barbie. Yeah. Hi, Deborah. Let's see. Who else am I missing? Um, the sweet in my <laughs> Janet doesn't care as long as I don't put her in any red pants. She's good. But the, you know, you do have your um, you do have your new sweatshirt I got you. I had special ordered those two uh sweatshirts, those uh, not sweatshirts, uh, hoodies. Hoodies, I got that from a girl that makes um, the them in Poland. I ordered those from Poland, uh, Janet. And mm -hmm. this is all the stuff which I have sort of organized, I have organized it a little bit. All these are different accoutrements. There are um, just all different kind of bags and like there's a medical bag, there's um, a life preserver, baskets, all kinds of uh, bike helmets, uh, cowboy hat, other helmets, bags, all kinds of, there's a, um, there's a, uh, uh, spinning, you know, exercise. <laughs> I told y'all when my friends all in the 80s and early 90s, well, I guess it would have been the early 90s. They all wanted me to go spinning with them. And I thought spinning, go spinning. You mean like I'm thinking to myself a bunch of yarn in a spinning wheel. <laughs> I didn't know what they were talking about. They're talking about an exercise spinning wheel, you know, spinning bike. <laughs> And then uh, this little car, which has different, she has a couple of different little kids in here and um, a couple little different kids that, um, and clothes for some little, the little baby doll uh, Barbie, but all kinds of clothes. Here's, I got, and I've already organized these. Here's two bags of shoes and accessories. And then these are other uh, little, um, like little uh, more accessories, and then a picnic basket with little cups and plates, and then just all kinds of clothes, guys. All kinds of clothes, Barbie, little Barbie, you know, dresses. This one should have had for uh, uh, Valentine's Day. All kinds of dresses, outfits, <clears throat> little jackets. So these were all Gabby's in the and in, in the nineties. Um, <clears throat> lots of pants. I did kind of organize. Of course, now I'm messing them all up again. But that's good. Here's the other little Bart, little doll, and a uh, little jacket, little jean vest, little skirts. So just all kinds of outfits. So we're going to have a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of fun with Barbie photography. Some fancier dresses and skirts. Here's This is what I used on um, the photography for the mermaid. There's the mermaid dress. And I did put them all in. I did put her all in water and soap bubbles. I did do that. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again, Zandra, for all the Barbie funnage. And we will be doing Barbie uh, photo shoots with all this. <laughs> I was just so excited. I was, so, I was just so tickled with it all. It was just so, um, it was just so fun to open and do that little short or that little reel. Let me show you the reel again. And hello, anybody I miss coming in. Barbie needs a walk in. No, I have uh, Raul Denise got me, and let me go back and see if I can show it to you. Well, it's on Instagram. I'll show it to you there. 
um, Denise got me a condo for Christmas. All right, so here's, let me, this is what, um, let me start it over here. I'll start over here in just a minute. <clears throat> here's the one I did for Zandra. Let me let it start. Oh my gosh, Zandra. Tell Gabby, thanks so much for all her Barbies. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun to go through all these. Thanks so much for sending them to me. So that's what Zandra sent. And then I did this little, again, y'all saw it. I did this little um, thank you, mermaid, uh, for Zandra. There's the mermaid dress tail. She's all in bubbles. But uh, let me see if I can scroll back. Oh, and here, uh, for those uh, that think that I'm not dressing Janet well enough, here's where Janet and I, this is from the uh, Camellia doll um, clothing girl in, in Poland. She made, she handmade these hoodies and I bought two of them. There's me. There's Janet. <laughs> there's the, there's the hoodies. They're even, they're lined on the inside. They have the little strings to tighten them. So, yeah. So, Janet, stop, stop complaining. <laughs> not that she is. She's not. <clears throat> um, let me just try to find it here. Um, where is it? Where is it? I know it's here. I know it's here somewhere. Well, <clears throat> Denise and I put it together. It took us, she came down, it took us a, a whole day to put one of those things together. Well, I'm not finding it right now, but it's one of those uh, drawer situations, <laughs> those white drawers on the rails. Um, and we, uh, we built it and it's my, I call it my Barbie condo, but I'm not finding it. I know it's on IG somewhere. I'm just not finding it. So anyway, um, it's on my YouTube shorts. <clears throat> Let me look over there. That's over there. My channel. No, 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 no. Let's see here. Let's go to my channel. Here we go. All right. So yeah, let's see here. Here it is. So Barbie's been very disorganized this season, not knowing where to put any of her Christmas accoutrements. But now Denise has bought them a condo <laughs> and now they have room to put all their things. So that she bought. <clears throat> so we put it, we had to put it together. <laughs> let me get a, I don't know if Rachel's here yet, but let me get a. <laughs> Hi, Flo. Anybody else I miss? So thank you again, Xander. That was so fun. And I had fun doing the, uh, I had fun doing the uh, mermaid uh, photo shoot to thank you. Okay. So we'll start with doing some of the wax seals and then maybe we'll do the, the letters and I'll, I'll do some calligraphy on them for some, you know, do your names for giveaways or something. Let me just try to get this stuff under here. All right. So let's go ahead and plug in. I hope this is long enough. Do I need an extension cord? I think I'm going to get an extension cord. I got one right here. Uh, so I can plug into the power strip and not have it go. <clears throat> All right. Let's make this. All right. All right, there we go. All right, let's heat up our glue gun and uh, make some wax seals. I got water on my table here. All right. Any questions? Hi, Tori. Who else? Dee Dee, next Christmas you need the Barbie warehouse. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I, you know, and people go, oh, you need to get the Barbie house. And but yeah, I don't really want to, you know, I, I want to make my own photo shoots. I want to kind of make my own scenes. I want to do my own sets. You know, I'm not really out to, you know, play with my grandchildren or something like that. You know, they're grown. 
<laughs> so, booze 20, you know. So um, <clears throat> they don't, uh, they're not going to, she's not going to be playing with anybody. She, she'll, she's made me a few outfits for, she made me that for my birthday. Y'all saw the uh, clothes that she sewed for me for birth, my uh, birthday. All right. So let's see. Let's just, uh, I'm going to, let's go ahead and open all the sticks. Let's open them all while this is getting a little hot. What are wax seals for? Um, they're, um, I always use wax seals in calligraphy. Let me get my trash bag over here. In uh, calligraphy to seal calligraphy uh, documents, parchments, you know, that's what I always used it for. And, and I don't really use them that much. You know, this is what I used to use, like this kind of where you would just light these little um light these little uh wax can they're not really candles they're wax they're made for dripping wax right and then you would just stamp your seal in it <clears throat> but since then they have come out with all different kinds of seals that are interchangeable i made a couple here a couple weeks ago a couple weeks ago and you can you can swap them out Plus, I have all the numbers. Um, I have all the numbers to swap out. So there's all the different numbers. There's number one. And then I also pulled some rubber stamps to do some initials. Like, your, you know, if y'all want your initials done with a little, your name on a piece of parchment. <clears throat> and uh, again, I have not, is that getting hot? <clears throat> I have not, um done any real professional calligraphy other than uh, I do cer giant certificates for my local dojo and uh, karate um, uh, club or whatever you want to call it um, the dojo the place where they train and I, when they graduate I do their certificates but other than that I haven't really done a lot of um, what do you call it? like massive calligraphy like I did back in the 80s and then when um you know, everybody had started getting desktops, computers, and being able to do their own fonts and everything. People just didn't want the calligraphy like they used to because they could print it out, right, in different fonts. Where before you couldn't do old English lettering without, you know, hand doing it, which is what I did. Um, We, we do... Just use wax season on the outside of the envelopes. No, yeah, don't don't put the wax seals on the outside of envelopes and try to mail them. Uh, they, it's not going to fly. They're going to get caught up in the machine. You know, if you want to send someone a wax seal something, then what you want to do is uh, put it in an envelope <laughs> and just put it in regular a regular envelope, right? Not not sealed up. Okay, so I'm going to just move these right up here. Can still see all those pretty colors and we're gonna try here um again i've not tried these let's see what's gonna happen and uh let's see what do i want to do maybe the moon let's see i got i put a dark blue in here so let's just put a little blob out as soon as it heats up let's see this is a new glue gun so i haven't ever there it goes i haven't even used it so i'm going to squeeze out some blue we'll see it's going to keep going Come on. Do I have to poke another one in to get it going? <clears throat> there we go. I think I'm going to like just melting the wax better, personally. Okay. Because I think that's going to be a lot of waste. But we'll see. All right. So now I'm just going to put my put my seal in there. And then you get let it cool off. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to like just melting them in a spoon and pouring it out, you know. And then I got the little heat thing here to just keep it hot, <clears throat> keep the wax hot. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let, let it sit for just a minute. Um, I think Dee loves gold wax. Gold wax. I don't know. Um, I put uh, rub and buff on it after we're done. All right, that should be done. All right, there we go. All right, let's see this little string there. All right, so there's the 
And then we just take some rub and buff here. Let's take this copper color. <clears throat> and I'm going to rub and buff some copper on it. And there is a person I saw on IG that does the clear, does the clear glue sticks with flowers and things in it. Oh, it's really pretty. I'll try to find the name again. All right, so there we go. See the moon there and the stars? So, all right, let's do, um, let's do, a, let's try the alphabet here to see how we, um, because uh, I want to use this up. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. I think I might like the spoon better, but we'll go ahead and try some more. Let's put a little bit out. All right, let's get a, let's see, what do we have here? There's a J for Janet or whoever. I'm going to just try this. Now, of course, it's going to be square. It's going to make it square because um, it's a stamp. It's not a seal. Well, they're, they're, they're wax. I'm not sure that they're exactly like a glue stick, the formulation, or if they're waxier than a glue stick. I'm not sure. These were kind of made for wax seals. So I'm not sure if these are just dyed glue sticks. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure if they're, that's what it is, or if it's more waxy than regular glue sticks. But I use the regular glue sticks, and I did that with uh, these little ones, because I had the last time we were here. Maybe I'll pull these out again. Uh, with the small, little, the small, tiny little um, glue sticks, because I could, I found them. <clears throat> so maybe we'll do that. All right, let's see here. All right, so it's still a little warm. And you can, uh, the other thing about doing the wax seals, if you if you don't like it, I like them uneven because then it looks like it's a real seal from back when, you know, they would never have been perfect. They never would, the wax seals would never have been perfect back in the, you know, because <laughs> they would have melted it with drip, drip, drip with wax, well, candle, right? All right, so let's see here. Let's get uh, let's get the gold one here. I'm almost out of this gold. <clears throat> and we'll put some gold on here. Now remember, this is going to be the negative space with the seal, uh, with the stamp. It's going to have it sunk in. So, all right, so there we go. There's a J. And what you would do back in the day is you would take your parchment. Let me just have a little piece here. <clears throat> you'd have your, you'd have your, you know, your official document, right? You'd have your, oh, sorry. That was a little loud. Sorry. It's not even an ASMR moment. That was a crunch my ear moment. <laughs> And you could put a, I had a little, here we go. You could put a little, what you call it there, and then you would melt your wax seal, and it would seal it. And if the seal was broken, you knew that somebody had got into your parchment, right? So, because that was the only way to get in there was to break the seal. Now, these, they'd probably peel up. <laughs> honest they these will probably just peel up but you know if you if you um and then the, the parchment was probably you know uh real real parchment real you know calf you know goat you know it would have been it would have been uh, less likely that you could have peeled off <laughs> so if you would have tried to peel it or you, you would have to break the seal so that's how you would know. And then the the seals back in the day would have been signet rings, more than likely. Like the king would have had a, a ring with his initial or his whatever, his signet on it, you know, his, his emblem would have been on the ring. And he would have just like that and stamped it into the wax. So nobody else would have had that seal except that king or that official or whatever. Okay, does that make sense? Um, let's see. Hi, Joyce, J for Joyce. Um, yeah, and a lot of people do wedding invitations and, and you know, 
things like party invitations and stuff like that now. But back in the day, it was done like that. And then if you ever have read the book of Revelation, there is a scroll with seven seals. And every seal, so it would have had, it would have been a scroll with, you know, seven seals on it. Well, I can't hardly do this, but it would have seven seals on it. And after, if you broke each seal, I'm not sure exactly how it unrolled. Maybe it was different parts, you know, and every time you un, you broke one seal, you could see one part. Then you broke the next seal and it would unroll the second part, etc. cetera. And uh, every time there was a seal broken, then something was unleashed. So um, there's that. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I'm going to... See, I'm not sure. Let's see. How do I get? I see. I can't get that out. I have to just use it up. I have to use the rest of that up. I'm not sure if this is going to be really um, efficient. Do you know what I mean? So let's just try to use up. Let's just put another one here. And what do I want? Let's do the B. Let's do the B. And I'll just drop the B in there. Hopefully I didn't let it jiggle but we'll see um so yeah i think what i'm gonna do is just melt them with the well let's you know what i'm gonna go with the clear for a minute um or i could just let's try this let's try to take the gold use up the rest of the blue until it turns gold and we'll see what happens i don't like it sitting in there and being wasted you know what i mean so let's make another one here all right, let's make somebody else's initial. Whose initial do we want? Let's do a, do I have a T for Tina? See, I'm going to have to dig. There's a T. All right, there's a T for Tina. I don't want to mash those down because it's the rubber and it's going to just like sink to the paper. I want to just kind of sit it. So we'll see. <clears throat> All right, so let's make a couple more. Who else wants one? Who else? We got we got Joyce. Um, hi, Big Flow, Raj. Um, who else? Let's see. So we have, I need to write this down because I won't remember who I'm saying that can have one. Okay, so Joyce. And Joyce, I do not have your address anymore, I'm sure. It's been a long time since I've sent you anything. And then Tina. All right, who who else wants one? Let's see, let's make another. Who else? I need to get some more. Uh, Molly. Okay, I gotta see. I have to find the letters. <laughs> should I should find the letters before I squeeze it out, shouldn't I? Let's see. There's M. There's M. Okay, Molly. Pixie, Pixie Core. Do I have your address? And do you want Cora? Pixie Cora. Do you want Cora? Do you want C for Cora? Let me know. And Leona. Okay, that'll be enough for right now. Okay, so I need an L and a C for Cora. Am I right? Let's look. Um, I'm going through. Okay, Leona. Oh, I got a space in there. It's still into the blue. It hasn't even gone into the gold yet. Okay, there's Leona. And then Molly, Tina, Cora. Pixie. All right, so we need a P. Okay. There's a P. Okay. There's a P. All right. So we're going to stop on the initials for now. <clears throat> we'll, we'll do some more in a little bit. Let's let's do let's let's wait. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to overwhelm myself. Okay. All right. So it's not even into the gold yet, but I'm going to leave that in there. And I am going to unplug this one. And I'm, let's see, I'm going to melt. I'm just going to melt some colors next. All right. <clears throat> so let's see here. Let's go over here. See how easy that just picked up right off the, right off the uh, parchment. Okay. So this should be my, I think this is my B. Was it my B? Yeah. And then we got, let's just let that sit a minute. Tina, I think this one's done. Okay, see that made it almost, I pushed it a little too far. See how it went through? These, when, when you stamp, because these are so deep, 
they're deep impressions. You can't mash them in. You'll go right through. So let's see here. I tried to just sit them. Yeah, there we go. That one's okay. That one's still cooling. That one's still cooling. All right, so let me do my... Let me go back here and with my B, my B seal. And I haven't tried this um, gold leaf that came with it. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to use to attach it, but we'll see. All right, there's the B. Let's see. It said use a tweezer to put it on with. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Let's try the edge. Let's just try a little bit. You know, Denise has my tweezers. <laughs> Let's just try it. Let's just see if it'll stick to this wax, right? I mean, this uh, rub and buff. So it looks like it's going to do this. You know, it's been a while since I used any kind of uh, uh, gold leafing back in the 80s. Okay, so let's just kind of... Just get the effect, right? Let's see, there we go. I don't really want it on the B because that's too detailed. But I think we could do continue on continue on so you can kind of see the gold leafing then you'd have to buff it and i'd want to get that out of the middle but it is sticking it is sticking to the uh rub and buff so there's a little test there's a little test okay let's see gold yeah well it's not really gold I, let's be honest this is not real gold leaf this is a craft gold leaf all right so let's see here's the p the l all right so now let's um let's do the rub and buff on it let's do the gold rub and buff and again these are not these letters you can buy the seal for the um letters i just have the numbers i don't have the seals so I'm just using the rub and buff to bring it out. There we go. There's a P. And if anything is like you don't like it, like right there, that little piece, you just cut it off with the scissors. Say it just cuts. All right. So there's the P. I gotta find a place to put these. All right. <clears throat> the P. L. I'm just I'm just put it on with my finger and there's all kinds of this rubbing stuff you can get if you just look up rub and buff that comes in like this kind of thing tubes this is just the easiest right you can see i've used it for a, a lot of other things all right there's the l <clears throat> Hang on, guys. I'm not looking at chat as much as I should. Just give me a minute. Don't anybody email me. All right. There's the M. <clears throat> the T. Okay. T. Anybody I missed? I didn't know you could use gold leaf on wax seals. Yeah. Okay, here's the J for Joyce. I'm going to set that over here. We got that one done. And yeah, the it, it's all stuck on here on this B. Let me get a little bit of that. Yeah. I'm going to buff it in so it really sticks. But yeah, I made, I made a mess on the inside there. You know, you got to be, you got to really be careful. You know, take your time and you don't want to just slap it on. <laughs> you, know, you do want to take a little moment. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, if I do a little, maybe I'll get some pretty ribbon out or something and put your initial and write your name and put that on there or something. If I can find some ribbon, I might not find it during the show, but uh, you see how the, wa the wax just like wipes right off of the parchment. Okay. All right, so there's some initials now. I wanted to do some, I unplug this. I wanted to do some clear. 
and um, I bought this. I haven't used this clear yet, but I saw. Oh, let me see if I can find her. It starts with a B. Um, let me see. Um, I saved her name in my photos. I think. Let's see if I can find her again. It was about a week ago. I showed her to you guys. Y'all need to follow her on IG. Let's see if I can find it. It will just look like a whole bunch of little wax seals. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I, got, I keep so many things in my photos. No, it, wouldn't have, it would have been farther back than that. So it's been a couple, I think it was a couple weeks ago or at least... Yeah, let's go back a little further. Start her name starts with a B. I'm looking, guys, and she does these awesome wax seals. Well, I'm not seeing it now, and she does it with little flowers and leaves and things in it. So I can't find her. Let me go back over to IG. Oh, there it is. Tina got her B Goods lettering. There we go. Let me write that down because I'm always wanting to talk about it. Okay. B Goods le dot lettering. Dot lettering. Now let me look her up on IG so I can show you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> B Goods. There we go. Okay, so let me show you a couple things that she's done. Like um, this little reel here. Okay, so she's squeezing out clear. And see, she had little flowers in there. She had little flowers in, and she put it on paper. All right, there. Different flower pattern paper. Look, aren't those pretty? So it's B goods dot lettering. Um, here's an, here's another one it's with red and white. She mashed them out. She punched, oh, she punched some paper with paint, painted paper to have red and white painted paper. And then did the stamp on top of the red and white paper. Now we did some black. Remember we punched out some black paper and did black. So here it is on black paper where we just put the clear, just the glue stick. This is just the clear glue stick on top of black paper and then the gold rub and buff. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. See, I did try it with some of the paper. I tried a pretty background paper, but it did this paper or whatever, or maybe it was this particular glue stick was not clear enough. Um... Same thing for this one. <clears throat> so I'm wondering, though, if we did some kind of um, uh, the flat one. Where's the flat one with nothing? Let's see. Here. If we did a flat with something. Um, all right. Let's see. Let me plug in. Let me do the. Let's do the clear glue. Hang on. Let me plug in the other little glue stick. With the tiny little, these little ones here, the clear. Then we'll try some of the melted wax chips or whatever you call them, dots. <clears throat> oh, here we go. So here's a couple of my leftover um, black ones. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, do I don't know if I have any little confetti or something right here. Hang on. Oh, here we got this. Uh, let me get something to pour this on or in. Hang on. I need something to put this confetti on. Oh, let's get a piece of paper. Can't get up under here. Let's just put it on, on my parchments. I just want to put some little confetti bits over here on something until I can put it in a baggie or something. Okay. All right. So let's try this. I don't know if this is going to work. Mary's not Mary wanted me to do some testing. All right, so we're gonna try it on black paper and then we're gonna just try it. Um is it heating up? Yeah. Uh, and then I'm just gonna put it on here. 
So what I thought I'd do is these little confetti things. Let's try. All right, let's try some of these yellow ones. All right, so I got these little yellow. Uh, let's let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. What, what do y'all say? You've probably been asking me to for 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put these little yellow confetti flowers on here. Let's just try. Okay. Okay. And then we'll do that on black. And then we'll just do some over here. Uh, let's see. Let's just do, I got some pink, a couple different things here. Okay, let's do like that little, it's just little pieces of confetti, right? Let's do. A couple flowers and a couple. There, we'll try this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the clear glue on it. And then I'm going to use a flat here with nothing so that you'll see it. Does that make sense? Let's put another one there. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Hang on. Okay. Nope, I'll knock something over. Hang on, let me pick this up. Okay. All right. So, let's move this out of the way. All right, let's see, Dee Dee. I'm wondering if the Ranger Distress crayons would work on the seals. Ranger Distress crayons. I don't know if I have any. Are they are they metallic? Are there metallic ones, Tina? I probably have some metallic, some kind of, uh, you know, you know, some kind of, you know, like this is my Jane Davenport crayons. Uh, I'm sure there's metallic crayons, and I may even have some around here somewhere. I don't know that I have the Ranger Distress ones, and I don't know if the Ranger Distress ones come in metallic. They do have metallic ones. I don't think I have any, Tina. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. So I'm going to go ahead and put, is this going to, is it melty enough? All right, so I'm going to just try to put some on here. Let's do one at a time. That may be too much. Let's see. And let's try the flat seal. Okay, let that sit a minute. Now I've got to wait till I can get this. I only have one flat seal, so we'll have to just wait a minute <clears throat> on that. Uh, is this interesting to anybody? I don't know. I'm Mary, you know, I, I've I've done wax seals in the years past, right? But again, I've done them with the old this the old the old version of these melt you know melt these candle like things uh, for calligraphy. And then a couple of, I don't know, it's before the virus, came, you know, I bought these. And you can see I hardly use them. And I bought a couple of wax seals to do them with. And um, oh, this text me, Tina's sending me something. I, 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 okay, Tina, I can't, whatever it is, I can't buy it right now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, hang on. And uh, so I use these with the little spoon. You'd melt them with the... Uh, with the candle, you know, and then I did get one of these little candle warmer things. You keep the candle under here. So if you want to keep your wax, if you want to keep your wax uh, heated in your little spoon, I guess I could go ahead and try to start one. I'm hesitant to do these spoon things on, you know, video. Okay, let me get a sip of water here. Do I have some matches handy? Let's see. What did I knock down? Oh, the glue gun. Hang on. <clears throat> Do I have some matches handy? I might have some in here. Uh, of course, I have no matches handy. <laughs> I have to go downstairs and get some. Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, here's some. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's go ahead and do this first. Okay. So, there's that with the black. Let's go ahead and put some rub and buff around the edge or a little bit around there. Okay, something like that. No, I'm not that impressed with it. 
maybe it's because it's yellow on black. Let's try, let's try it here on just clear. I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put the glue stick right on top of the flowers, on top of. I oh, need another glue stick. Where are they? Um, right on top of the flowers. Okay, I gotta let that heat up and let's try that and let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Where's my mat? Oh, hang on, guys. Let me let me go find some more matches. Give me a minute. Be right back. Let me close the door so the cat doesn't get there. All right, let's see what's going on here. Heating that up. All right, let's see this. Okay, this one might have worked a little better. Okay, so there we go. So where's the rubber button here? Let's go ahead and cut off the little bit of excess there. So this is more, I think, how the how B Goods did it. She used just some clear, you know, and you can use just some confetti or real flowers. See, it's just stuck in there. Or you could put some paper down like I did, the black paper. Oh, where did that one go? <laughs> where I did the one with the black paper. Um, here. So, and you can probably, you know, like, look how spring-like that looks. All right, let's see. Does anyone know what the black circle is made? It's cardstock. Uh, Flo, it's just a piece of cardstock that I punched out with the punch. Piece of cardstock. Hi, Dar. Karen, sister, how you doing? <laughs> All right, I need to put this confetti in a little baggie or something because it's going to go flying. Let's get a little baggie here. We'll do, an, we'll do another one on um, another color, maybe. All right, let's see. I've got to have room here. All right. Um, oh, I wanted to light this candle and put it under here. I'm going to have a big mess to clean up here today. <clears throat> All right. Let's do a little candle just to get some wax melting. I'm not sure how long it'll take with this little setup. Okay, so I'm going to do the little wax. Let's put that under there. Let's put the spoon and some color. Let's try the white so we can see if the um, flowers will show through. No, it probably won't show through on white. Come on, how do I open this? Here we go. Um, let's just do the, let's do a little bit of gold on black paper. Let's put, let's put three or four in there or five. I'm not sure how many. <laughs> okay. So we're going to let that melt a minute. We'll see how long it takes. Mary just uses her glue or, um, her heat gun and just melts it with the heat gun, which is quicker. So, but we'll try a couple different things. All right. So now let's go back to the black do I want the black paper? Do I want some? Well, let's just do another clear one. Let's do another clear one with some more. Let's just do like quite a few little. Let's just do a whole bunch of little confetti right there, right? We'll see how many stick at the end. Okay, a little blob of confetti. Put it in caps if you're talking to me, guys. Because, you know, I'm, I am paying attention here to what I'm trying to do. All right. So now I'm going to put a blob. 
let's put it in a, let's do an initial or uh, no let's do uh now let's just do the plain one because otherwise it's not going to show up okay so okay what if you put small gold foil in the clear? Oh, that's a good idea, Bissup. We'll do that. All right, so in the meantime, I'm going to take this little baggie and my confetti here and pour it in the baggie so that it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, we'll try that. That might be a good idea. All right, so I, want to stick to the, I want to stick to the parchment. I should have just used regular paper, not parchment paper. Come on. Okay. I, I'm tangled up in the cords. <clears throat> All right, so let's try that. Let's try some gold. That's almost done melting, that gold. All right, so let's do some of the gold leaf. Just a little piece of that. Oop. See, I need a, I need my tweezers. Denise has my tweezers. <laughs> I never use them. All right, so let's put a little bit of gold leaf and some clear. Oh wait, I gotta wait for this. I just want to sit on my parchment paper here. Once to slide off. Okay. All right, so we'll let this one sit. Let me trim off the excess. All right, so now let's just put, see what happens if we put it on the gold leaf. If it doesn't just melt the gold leaf, I don't know. We'll see. Because it's not real gold leaf, guys. This is just some fake metal stuff, right? <laughs> All right, so let's let that sit a minute. Let's put some, uh, let's put some, uh, do I want maybe a red rather than that? Nah, it's, it needs to be gold because it needs to have that shimmer here. And also, um, I need my Krylon. Here, let me get my Krylon pen. It's a new one, so let me get it going here. Um, to try to make it look even better. I think that's what uh, the girl on Instagram, Be Goods, uses is a Krylon pen. So let's do that. I think it'll be shine. Oh, yes, much shinier. Okay. All right, there you go. Let's try, let's go back to, let's go back to this little moon here. It's much shinier with the Krylon pen. Maybe I can get some on there without sinking it in. You know, just kind of lightly rubbing it over the top. That's better. All right, let's try one of the initials. Ay, my glue gun will not stay on this paper. <clears throat> okay, so there's the... Oh, this is starting to smoke. So I think we better <laughs> that wax is starting to smoke. So we better we better pour some out and set it aside. And I got way too much there. Way, way too much. And it's also let me cool it for a minute because it's too thin. It's gonna go sink right to the bottom. I let it go too long. I let it go too long. So I think this Krylon pen is so much more gold. So much more goldy, you know. There we go. Look. See, look at that. Let me compare. Look. See the difference? So I'm going to go over all these initials with the Krylon. <clears throat> All right, that might be, there's my B. Let's do the B. I might have let it sit. I might have let it melt too much. <clears throat> we'll see here in a minute. All right, so let's go over this P here. Let 
You really do need tweezers to hold this. I'm not looking at chat, guys. I know y'all probably asking me a bunch of questions, but hang on. What do y'all think? All right, let's put the lid back on this. If I can find it. All right, the seals would make nice jewelry for journals. Well, they're not. They're 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 breakable, Shaz. You could put them in your journal. See, I got how thin I got it. It's still cooling. I got that way too hot. All right, let's do another one. Let's. Uh, Let's put in, let's put in some of these clears. There's a little bit of gold left in there. I think it's still really hot, so it should just take a second. What other seals do I have here? Um, I don't have enough space. I, all right, I got my ink well. So, all right, so here's the clear one that we put the gold leaf in. Not impressed. The gold leaf does not show. Look. The gold leaf doesn't shine. The gold leaf doesn't shine through. You know. <clears throat> All right. Let's get the little. Let's get the pen back out. Pull around these. I might have already done it. It's pretty shiny. Okay, this is still melting. Let's see how. There's my B. And so you can trim it up <clears throat> if you want it neater. But again, back in the day, they were meant to be imperfect. That was part of the charm of it to me, was the uh, ragged edges like this. That was part of the charm of it for me um, in the, you know, no, uh, let's see. Let's try. Do I want to try a blue? Yeah, let's uh, let's try a red rubbing buff. Is that going to show up? My wax seal is almost. I mean, my wax is almost melted. There, it has the clear and the gold. All right. There's a little B. What do y'all think? Are y'all are y'all thinking this is fun or cool or? All right, so I'm going to do another one on black paper. I'll do, there might be enough in there for two. All right, so as soon as that's melted, I'm going to pour out two. And I'll do the moon and stars, and I'll do the uh, B again. All right, let me see what anybody's saying in caps. Scrolling back. Uh, Tina's saying good morning to some people. Uh, no comparison in bling quality. <laughs> How can I fix my Krylon pen? Um, I, if it's dried out, you just probably need to get a new one. I don't know that you can fix one. Shake it and pump it. If it's, if it's dried out, then I don't know that you can do anything about that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Wax leaf needs to go on top of the wax and then press um i don't i don't know that that would work i would think it would just get all jammed up inside the i think it would get all jammed up inside the uh what do you call it i think there's only enough there for one okay so let's try the let's go with the b again now this one i've got gold and clear together uh i think if we tried to put the the Wax down and sprinkle the gold into it. It's going to get up in the seal. I'd be afraid it would get up in the seal. Like that. Maybe, maybe not. Do I want to risk it? <laughs> Do I want to risk uh, ruining one of my seals? It would be like putting acrylic paint in there. You'd never get the acrylic paint out of there. All right, I'm letting that sit. All right, let's do another gold and clear. So we're going to put a couple more clears. And 
couple more golds. Okay, it kind of make a swirly look is what it was doing. Got to let it sit for just a minute. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Did, did you mix two? Yeah, that's what this is right here. The under here, it's, it's, uh, it's clear and gold, but I can do a couple colors too. We'll do that next. After I do this one is another clear and gold. Um, maybe let's, let's throw a blue in there then. Dar. Or a black. So we got gold, clear, and a black. Let's just throw in one. Let's just see if that, how, what that does. Okay. Okay. All right. So again, I put this on the paper. So let's put a little, let's put some black. Um, I don't really have black. This is dark gray, I think. Let's try that. And we can trim it a little too if we need to. Let's see what the black looks like with the B. Mm, no, not with the black paper underneath. See, I'm thinking that this the just the uh, plain clear is working the best. All right, this one we're gonna do this one clear. It's almost done melting, and then we'll uh, we'll just do a you know plain, not on paper. Although this one did good on the paper. Is that on paper? No, that's just no, that's just wax. Oh. No, that's just wax too. This is the only one I have sitting here with the paper on the back. That one has paper on the back. <clears throat> Let's see. Hi, Devin. Are you leave, hot, coming or going, Devin? <laughs> Hi, Devin. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to scroll, see if I missed anything. Put it in caps if you're talking to me. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Let's pour that out. Kind of a swirly bit. And let's do the let's do the B again. Where's my B? So I've been putting a little too much in there, I think. I think it doesn't need like five. It may only need like four, you know. <laughs> I pulled a piece of wax. There's a piece of wax stuck in there and it's making it all come out. Okay. All right. Oh, is it, is it Devin's birthday? Happy birthday, Devin. Is it her birthday? Hi, Annette. Happy birthday, Devin. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's still sitting up a little bit. So what else should we try? This is still plugged in. We can do some, um, just some clear. But I'm kind of wanting to try a couple more colors. This still has a little bit of black in there. Let's use... Um, Let's try pink and black. How about that? Let's try a hot pink and black. There's still a little gold in there too, but we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> I want to keep reminding myself to close that. I don't want these to go everywhere. And then we'll do some calligraphy. We'll do a little calligraphy and then uh, do some seals on them or something. Okay, is that done? Eh, it's a little, still a little, little tacky. So let's let that sit a minute. <clears throat> um, t -t 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 Kathleen Kelly, who else am I missing? Hi, Zandra. Zandra, I showed the Barbie stuff this morning. At the beginning of the show. Thank you again so much. <laughs> That's so fun. That is so fun. Did you use a glue gun? Did it work? Yeah, glue gun. That's what I've been using here a lot. Not all of them, but yeah, I mean, I'll do another glue stick one here. Okay, let's see. Because I still have this one plugged in. So here's a glue, glue stick. This is just clear glue. And plus, I also got these over here that were made for, um, that were made for, um, 
your glue glue gun. See, this is a new Hobby Lobby thing, Zandra, and you can buy these colored glue sticks. The problem is, is, you know, you got half the glue stick is still in there and you can't really change colors, you know, because it's going to be half and half, which is okay, too. All right, so I'm going to let that one sit. Let's do another. What do I have here? That's just a flat. Where's it? Do I have another one that I got here? Here's the Florida de Lee. Now, the Florida de Lee's got a little bit of wax on there. I'm going to go ahead and use, try to clean it up a little. I think it'll pull that excess wax off that Florida de Lee. So let's just go ahead and try to clean this one up there. All right, so we're going to let all these kind of. All right, let's see if this one. And see, the parchment paper, look, it just picks right up off the parchment paper. All right, so this one is the mix of the. And you can just, if anything is on there, you don't like it, you can cut some off. I like it irregular. So there's the B in there. So if I put, let's see, maybe the black rub and buff. Where'd I go? Where's my rub and buff? Go? I got too many little things all over the place. Where is it? Here it is. Let's go with the black on the B. Just on the B, not on the edges. Let's go ahead. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done the Krylon. So you can see the bee's black. But let's try to go with the Krylon on the bee. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. If I'm careful, you don't get it too thick. And then maybe a little bit on the edge. Let's see. You just got to play around, you know. Try different things. There's the B with the cry. If I miss a wing, there we go. Little leg, little. There we go. There's the mix of gold and black. Don't forget your wax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now I gotta let that, I'm gonna let it sit for just a minute because it's gonna be too thin. It's gonna be too hot. All right, so let's take these off and I'll play with these. These are just the plain glue stick. <clears throat> See, I had some leftover wax from a previous something. Whoops. <laughs> There's a strain. All right, so now let's try this black and pink. Okay, I'm going to blow the candle out. <sighs> And just let it sit there. So, so we're going to move on. Let's try the little um, sun and moon. All right. Let's let that sit a minute. Um, thank you, Anna. Thanks. And thanks for being here. Um, thanks, Kevin. And happy birthday again. All right. So, yeah, with the black and the gold, it almost looks like beeswax like a honeycomb or something i really like this this one's my favorite so far that's one of my favorites and again we did use some of the gold leaf which i wasn't careful i just slapped it on there just to see if it would stick <laughs> all right so now we got a couple of um like here's a fleur de lis let's take um what, what do we want to use let's, um, let's just take this red no, that won't. Uh, let's do the gold, gold or copper. And again, I'm just not as I'm not as impressed with the rub and buff now that I have the the Krylon pin out. Right? It's just so much more um, gold. piece of wax stuck. I'm going to have to go wash my hands really well before I uh, do some calligraphy. All right, so there's a little fleur-de-lis in gold. And again, this is just with clear. It's not even if we had put it on black paper. We'd put it on black paper. It would show up even more. Okay, let's see. This is the moon. And again, it's got a couple little strings on it. I just cut them off. All right, let's go around this one. And y'all, I'm serious. Go watch Be Good 
dot lettering on IG who's doing all these different wax seals with little flowers and all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> okay. Let's put the Krylon on there. There you can see, let's put a black behind it just to see what it looks like. So you can see clear black all right let's see any questions tomorrow's Mardi Gras yes I am not going to have a Barbie uh, photography ready for Mardi Gras and that's not happening <laughs> I was happy to get my Xandra mermaid Zan Xandra uh, go back later and watch how I did your um, photo shoot using a little bit of procreate okay let's here's the uh, Let's cut a little bit of this off. You can cut it down or you can leave it jaggedy and raggedy, which, you know, I'm just cutting off a little bit of the strings, but I like it uneven. Okay. Now on this one, again, I'm going to take my Krylon pen and just put a circle and take your time. You know, you can do this neater. We're experimenting. And let's just kind of skim over the, lightly skim over the seal here. Got to be careful not to like flood it. See the moon, the moon and the stars. Thank you, Tina. So, yeah. All right. So there's some practice things. What do y'all think? All right. I'm going to unplug this glue gun now. I think we're good. Glue gun. So, again, I use the clear. And then I use the colors. I use the blue and the gold. I don't think we ever got down to the gold. And then um, use some of the little melt wax in the spoon thing. And, you know, um, this is the kind that I used to use. Let me just, I'll melt one here. Well, no, I don't want smoke coming up on my camera. Uh, <clears throat> and then there's also these from back in the day, little discs. You could melt, you could just melt a disc and um, use these. Oh, uh, what else? Here's the one that I used before. I'm going to pick out these other ones. Here's another one of the moons. This one's on, this is on black paper. Let's go ahead and do a rub and buff on this. See what it looks like. And then we did all those initials using the rubber stamps. We did, uh, a, we used initials using rubber stamps. So this one's on black paper. Let's get all the way around. There we go. There's the moon and the stars. Clear glue stick on black paper. Okay. What do y'all think? <clears throat> and I'll show you the initials. And I am going to go around all the initials. Here's Here it is with the uh, Krylon pen. And here is it with just the rub and buff. Let's compare. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rub and buff all of them. See the difference? It's nice with that, but it's much better with the Krylon pen. Right? <clears throat> So I'm going to do some some names. I'm going to write some names on parchment. And uh, maybe I could just uh, get a little piece of hot glue to stick these. I'm not going to redo them. You'd, 
ideally you want to do the seal on your parchment or on whatever it is you're doing, right? But I just made these off to the side. <laughs> you know? I just made these off to the side. I didn't stick them to the to our parchment or whatever. I can just glue them with a you know with some Eileen's tacky probably to the parchment. So we'll do a little bit of calligraphy for the last bit of the show. Hopefully y'all. And I, I have to warm up because I haven't done any uh, nice calligraphy in a while. Let's see, there's that. Let me fix this P a little bit. And I had one more T for Tina. What do y'all think? Dee Dee, have you ever done a caustic over? No, I don't, you know. And and thank and hi, Christopher. I never really wanted, I didn't even really like to do this, to be honest with you. The only reason I like the wax seals is because I like them on my parchment calligraphy. <laughs> I never really had any desire, desire to do encaustic paintings or anything like that. But uh, but it is that it can be cool, you know. It can be cool, but I just wanted to, um, you know, like I said, this is uh, where's my little box here. This is how I used to do my calligraphy uh, wax seals, just with these. This this was it. This in a match, and you just drip it, you know. You just light this up. Well, I'll do one here. I'll show so in case anybody hadn't seen this. Let's just. Uh, so you just light these little, you don't have to have all this other fancy stuff, right? You don't have to have all this fancy stuff. Now you just sit here and you just, I don't want it up in my camera. Let's go over here a little bit. And you just wait for it to melt and it just drips. You really want, here, let's do it on a piece of uh, parchment. And you just twist it and turn it until you get enough. And you're just dripping one little thing, one little drip at a time. So you get enough. And this is how they seal their letters. And then you'd have a signet ring. And you would mash your signet ring in there so that nobody else had that signet ring. Except the king or the whatever person. Okay, so now... Let me get, oh, I'll put them all away. <laughs> Let's just grab, there's a number two. Let's just go, or five, I'm not sure. Let's just go ahead and do that. All right, let me um, let me just put a, I'm going to put a drop of water here, just a drop, just a drop of water. There we go. Make sure my candle is out. Okay. Uh, to get a start, no, Leona, all right. The glue gun that they've come out with now, which you can probably just use your old glue gun. It's a standard size sticks, I'm pretty sure, the big ones. You can, you know, these these run up, I don't know, I think they're three for five bucks or something like that. And then you buy the different colors. The glue gun itself was like seven or eight. But before we did all this, I was just using my little old tiny glue gun with the little tiny ones and doing the clear. Just doing the clear on top of some black paper or here we did these was on top of some um, flower confetti. So really all you need is a glue stick <laughs> or glue gun with clear with clear. And then, um, you know, a, a seal, although I was using the letters of the alphabet from my one of my rubber stamp sets. But you see how they look. They look like a. You know, they look like a stamp, you know, as opposed to looking like a seal, right? 
but it's not expensive. You could get these wax kits like this. This probably cost me about 10 bucks on Amazon for all these colors. And, I'm, and I've had it for three, four years, maybe five. <laughs> Shows you how much I use it. Okay, so let's see if that's dry now. All right, so there. So now let's just say this was sealed up. This would, this would have been up underneath there. You would have sealed it with that. And then um, I'll just put some gold rub and buff on it because that's what I'm used to using. Although now, you know, we got the uh, Krylon pen. And uh, just put a little rub and buff. And there you go. There's your seal. And this is what I'm used to using on my calligraphy projects. All right. So I am going to take a minute to pick this up and we'll do a little calligraphy. And again, y'all going to have to forgive my calligraphy hand. It's not been um, used much over the years. So it's not going to be as uh, nice as it was back in the 80s when I was doing it professionally. All right. So let's go ahead and pick this up. I'm just going to move this whole part. Up. So let's just move my little box here. And uh, so do you need this little spoon? Do you need the little warmer? The little No, you don't need any of that. You can use, you can get these, <laughs> you know, you can get these and melt them or you can just use a clear glue stick. All right. So let's put this to the side. I'll, I'll clean it up later, pick it up later. Let's just, I'm just gonna pick it up for now. Let's let that just sit over here to the side when we hot wax or something. <clears throat> all right. So, yeah. All right. The letters, which are just an alphabet. Okay. So let me move my glue guns out of the way. My waxes. My little parchment. I'll keep this here for a sample. Oh, and let me go ahead and show you, though, the difference between um, Rub and Buff here and the Krylon pen. So you can see how much more gold it is. Again, if you want more examples of this. Oh, thank you, John, for the <laughs> super sticker or quest to Oak Island, John. If you all want to know anything about Oak Island, then go to uh, quest of Oak Island, John. Thank you, John, for supporting the channel. We're doing calligraphy and wax seals today. Maybe on Oak Island, they'll find some wax seals with some famous parchment. <laughs> you can put little pieces of ribbon under it. You know, you can seal it with little bits of ribbon. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks, John, for the super sticker. All right. So I am going to always leave this here for a second while I go wash my hands because I'm going to do calligraphy. I'm going to have to get out my uh, calligraphy nibs and some ink. And I think I'll just use my carbon ink and we'll use one of my little uh, soapstone things. Let's get the bigger one here. I need to dust it off. You can see I haven't used it in a while. The bigger soapstone and a little soapstone my carbon ink and um, I'll get out some um, I'll get out some nibs and stuff here in a minute oh so what I was going to say is you know Mary and I have both done uh, stamps with our rubber stamps our hand carved stamps so we you know we didn't do anything like these this big of our hand carved stamps that are this big but i did do my little rabbit i did do my rabbit in a um melted uh glue gun and i did the top of one of my bees or something but these are some of my hand carved stamp oh i did the owl that's what i did i did the owl face with the uh in the glue so it they all were fine but these are all hand carved rubber. I, I would not use acrylic. I haven't tried it. You could try it and you might just find one of your acrylic stamps that you don't love because the acrylic might not work well with melted wax. It may ruin the, your acrylic stamps. But these are rubber, so they're not going to, it didn't hurt them. All right. So one second, guys. Let me go wash my hands a little bit. Then we'll do a little calligraphy. And... Um, 
I got your little initials here with a few people here. I'm going to write your names. I'm going to do Pixie Cora, Tina, um, Joyce, Leona. I thought I had five. Didn't I have five? Oh, it's under there. And um, who was the M? Uh, Molly. So I'm going to write those in calligraphy. I'll do a brush letter and I'll do a black letter. Um, so just a minute, let me go wash my hands. Give me a minute because it's got wax and oils. Okay. took off some of with the wax took off some of my polish and I did nick myself on something <clears throat> I nicked myself on a uh, something metal um, I don't think it's bleeding that much I don't I don't think I'll bleed on anybody <laughs> just a little just a little nick on my on my uh nick right there okay all right, let me check chat here and see what's going on. Um, again, oh, B Goods Lettering. That's who you need to follow on IG. B Goods Lettering for all this kind of stuff. It's She's amazing. Uh, and Tina, what did you send me? <laughs> let me get back over here. Uh, let's see, what did Tina message me earlier? Oh, the Ranger Metallics. Yeah, okay. I believe that you, I'm not buying them, but I see that they are in existence. So Tina showed us the Distress, um, Metallic Distress, Tim Holtz Distress um, pens or whatever. So they're all, just go look uh, for that on Amazon. Ranger Metallic, Tim Holtz Distress Crayon. Set of three. Thank you, Tina. And Tina just put the B Goods in there too. Let me show you her again. A couple of samples here. Let me find one of her little videos. Uh, here we go. She's putting down the wax on top of some little hearts. Krylon pen. Look. Show it again. So, yeah, go follow Be Goods Lettering. Let me show another one. She paint, she painted some, um, she's got a little Be Mine. Let's see what she's doing here. She's putting a little wax seals on top of a heart. Going around on Cryon. She just did these little hearts for Valentine's Day. Um, and here we go. There's one more. She's putting little flowers in there and then putting the thing on top. So we could do that with different colors. Look. So be goods lettering. All right. So let's save that. So I have a screenshot. So I remember. Okay. Um, hi, Jeff. How you doing? All right, so here's a little bit of parchment. I am going to, I'm going to have to just move this off the table because I have to have the table. I can't have all this. Um, let's see if I can move it. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Cat's got to go. Cat's to go. Come on, baby. Out, out, out. Can't, can't, can't do it right now. I usually let her up on my table depending on what I'm doing. All right, so let's get some parchment here. Let me get let me get these uh, little so off here. I'm just gonna do some names. I need um I need some cushioning under here. Let me get some paper under there. Hang on. Get some paper. Let's see. Here we go. All right. 
gonna have a little bit of cushion. This because this is um, trust me, this is like you know bumpy and <laughs> it's just it's faux. I mean, but it's still been used so much that it's not very clean. All right, so let's see. We'll uh, we'll do some tearing. We can tear it and make it look old. We can also ink the edges or whatever we want to do. All right, so let's see what pen nibs. What do I want to use here? Hang. I don't know if I need another one of my nibs or if I can get in here and get my what do I want. There's my other thing of pen nibs. I've got more nibs here somewhere. Hang on. They're over here, I think. <clears throat> I was actually, you can see, I was not prepared to do this today. I was just going to do the... Uh, do the wax, but let's see. Where's the rest of my nibs? I need some more nibs. Where are where are the rest of my nibs? Hang on, guys. I gotta find my pen nibs somewhere. I don't want to use a feather. <laughs> that's what's all in this. That's what's in this bucket where I usually keep my nibs. Where are my nibs? Oh my gosh. Where did I put them all? Hang on, guys. I'm having to think a minute. I'm looking around. I don't want to use a glass pen. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to use this handle. I don't know where my other handles are. Okay. So anyway, here's a bunch of my nibs. And uh, Queen Pam made this for me. And Janet has since made herself one, too. So I'm going to pick a nib. Um, I also want to try to do... I also want to try to do a um, just brush lettering type thing to show you so that if you're not into really into calligraphy, you can do brush lettering. I wish I knew where the rest of my, my handles were. Janet, where did I put my handles? <laughs> as soon as the show's over, I'm going to, oh, there they are. But I've got like 20 handles sitting here somewhere, and I cannot put my eyeballs on them. I thought maybe they were in here with my brushes and my uh, calligraphy brushes, you know, like calligraphy brushes, but they're not here with my brushes. So I'm not sure where my nibs are. All right, let me look at chat for a minute. Um, thanks, Annette, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Sending love and support. Thank you, Annette. Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> you have to met, email me and tell me how your uh, studying is going with your sister. Let me know how that's going, okay? I would like to hear. Yeah, hi, Poshy. Yeah. Um, so she made it out. of. It's just out of corrugate cardboard. It's just out of corrugate cardboard. Let me show you on the side. See, look. It's just, that's all it is. And she she's uh, taped it all together. And the holes in the corrugate hold the nibs see they just stick right down in there <clears throat> so i picked one and uh but i also wanted to show the brush lettering let me get a let me get one of my brushes out of my pen case my pen case hang on let's see let's just try this let's see if this is good all right We'll do that on here just to show you. This might be too slick. Let's get something else so slick. <clears throat> I want it smooth, but that might be too slick. Let's try this. We'll try both. Okay. And then we'll do the calligraphy. Okay, so with the brush nibs, um, and let me zoom in. Clear design, pretty too. All right, let's move in. All right, so let's see how this is. All right, so this is going to be too slick and it's going to feather. I can see it already feathering. Let's try it on here. All right, so like, let's say Molly. So brush lettering, you can do, it doesn't have to be straight on line. Like when you do black letter, it's really, you, you know, I'll draw some, draw some lines and do it real neat on the parchment, but you can do it. You can do this kind of thing on parchment too. And, um, I have not warmed up. I haven't, I'm just, you know, we're just going for it, but like, let's just say Molly, and you can do, and you can do like 
drop letters. You can do, you know, you can do all kinds of uh, ways. You can do it. Let's do a little smaller. So you can do thick and thin with this. This one's a little fat. I think I need to try the other side. <clears throat> okay, let's try the other side. A little smaller. Uh, maybe this one is not the best either. Might not be. Uh, might be too old or too used up. So you can do all kinds of brush lettering. And I show this all the time. You can use like your um, Crayola Super Tips. They have like a bullet nib. They have like a bullet nib where you can get thin, medium, and fat uh, weights, line weight. And you can get like 100 colors for like 10 bucks or something. They're so inexpensive. And trust me, you think, oh, you think these little cheap Crayola kids markers would run out. I have sets that are like 10 and 15 years old and they still go. Janet, Janet can attest to that. Right, Janet? They never run out. They just never run out. But you can do, um, you can do, um, and you do got to get a little, you know, you got to get a little bit of a hand, you know, twist to it. But you can do, you can do brush lettering with your Crayola Super Tips. <laughs> this should be, there should be a thicker one. <clears throat> <clears throat> so you can play with the super tips and do, uh, you know, you don't have to have a brush pen, although, you know, brush pen and brushes are fun too. Can you talk about the different nibs? Um, they're just different sizes. I, I don't know what you want me to say about them. Um, I'm going to use this one. I don't know what number it is. I couldn't, I don't remember. I don't remember the numbers of them. Again, I, I have not done professional calligraphy really from the late 80s, early 90s. Um, I do, like I said, I do certificates and so, an occasional verse or poem or something like that. And uh, my local dojo has me do their huge oversized certificates. And probably if they could run them through a computer, they probably wouldn't even have me do them. But I do hand uh, do their all the the name of the um, the name of the person that's graduating or, or moving up to another belt or um, uh, and it has the name of the dojo, has this instructor, the date and all that. And uh, they're really big. They're like, you know, like two feet. Well, maybe not quite two feet. I'm looking at maybe up 18 inches by 12 by eight. They're big. And so, um, yeah. Um, so you're not a professional niblet. Niblet. <laughs> I like that. Oh my gosh, that has to go niblet. I love that poshy. That's got to go in the wingnut book. <laughs> niblet. Okay, so if y'all don't know what the wingnut book is, <laughs> I hear you out there, baby. I'll let you in in a minute. Um. <clears throat> Anytime someone says something like that's really funny or cute or quirky, um, we have the wingnut book, <laughs> which if you ever looked at this, you would never know what, none of it makes any sense unless you were here that day. But uh, Poshy, you made the wing wingnut books because we're all just a bunch of wingnuts. <laughs> and my wingnut fell apart. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, my wingnut fell apart, Poshy. I'm going to have to put the book back together here. Because <laughs> we're all just this is one of those old Tim Holtz or wingnut books. Now I'm like, I want to sit here and fiddle with this while we're trying to do something else. So I will just set it aside and we will fix the wingnut book later. But let's tighten up this one so that one doesn't fall apart. Okay, Malibu, I hear you. Come on in. Come on in. Ooh. Tear down the door. Okay. So let me put this over here where the cat won't get it. All right. No. Hang on, guys. I gotta make room because of the cat. All right. So, um, but anyway, there's just different nibs. Like, you know, I can do big wide lettering, all different sizes. All different sizes of a thin, 
italic, black letter, which is kind of what I want to do today. And I'm totally not in practice. Okay, so I wanted to show you, though, that you can use markers and um, brush pens. Oh, my gosh. Uh, to do it. <laughs> we'll see how I can concentrate here, guys, with the cat rolling around on my parchment paper. All right, so let's see. Make some space. Let's get my get um, a little piece of dust there and my uh, <clears throat> I am going to put a little cost come out here out of my way. I'm gonna put a little ink here. I should have got a uh, what do you call it a uh, dropper. Ah uh, cats. Okay, that scared her out. She'll be gone now. <laughs> Okay, I gotta I gotta get me a drink of my lemon water and get in the zone because otherwise it's not gonna you get a baby wipe. It's a lot of prep to do this stuff, guys. A lot of prep. And I try to do it on the fly, and sometimes we can, sometimes we got cats. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's get a sip of lemon water here. Mm. I don't have craft lanches here, Julie. I have craft tripping over things. Because after we do something here, it goes all on the floor right behind me. All on the floor. Because this table is just what, what you see here. It, there's no room anywhere else. So it all goes on the floor. And if I turn around quick and the cat's there... I'm tripping off something on the floor. Um, okay, let's move that over. Let's move the let's move the glue guns off the table. <clears throat> let's move the other stuff off the table. All right. Okay, so I got me a little bit of ink out. And do I make a mess? Yes, I did. Hang on, guys. I should just use the bottle. Hang on. Another baby wipe. So all this, so we can use a wax seal. <laughs> all right. I'm going to use my bottle. So let me just do, before I go on to the parchment, let me just do a little bit of a, a practice here. Okay, so how are we doing on lighting? Let's brighten this up just a little, kind of in the dark. All right, so let me just do a little bit of a, get my pen is not even uh, warmed up. You know what I mean? Hang on, I'm just going to do a, a few little... So the carbon, this carbon ink has a little like thing that sits in it. There's like a little, see, can you see that? It's a little, so that your pen won't go any further than that. <clears throat> so I'm going to test this nib. This nib is going to be split. I'm going to have to get a different nib. Do you please write the letter for me? What letter? Right, oh, the letter T. Well, you can do two. You can do two different kinds of T's. You can do. Oh my gosh! Hang on, guys. I might have to get another nib. This one might be a little jacked up. It's pretty old. Um, you can do um, T's like you know, just like a letter T, or you can do the old you know English letter T like this. So there you go. <clears throat> and then you can always add extra little embellishments and you know you can add different yeah <clears throat> there you go that's an old english tea i'm gonna write y'all's names on the parchment no the letter i oh as an in oh a capital i well there's a there's a couple different let me see hang on i'm gonna look i'm gonna try to find something real quick as long as the cat's not in here hang on 
just a minute. Let me wash my hands again. Okay, well, I can't find it on the fly. That's the problem with doing, you know, trying to find something on live stream. I had a uh, nice um, example thing of different ways you can do the letters. But I, I can't find it right now. See, I'm trying to do too many things at once, guys. Uh, let's see. All right, so... Um, all right, let's let's go back over here to Molly. Just uh, and um, hang on, let me get a pencil. Let me get. A, uh, trying to do too many things at once. <clears throat> I want a pencil that's going to show up. Do I blue? Let's just use a blue here, just so you can see it. And then when I do uh, do my own uh, on the calligraphy, I mean on the parchment, I'll just use a regular pencil. But you won't be able to see that on camera. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let's do this. It's about the weight. I want this. Just so y'all can see it. I just want y'all to be able to see it here. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right. So... So like Molly, hang on. All right, I gotta move some more stuff. <clears throat> Try to stay in frame here. All right, so let me just. Okay, and then you can always do extra little. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So there's Molly. Now I just want—I got to reproduce that nicely on um, on a uh, parchment. All right, so let's keep going. All right, Tina. And you don't have to get that fancy, but sometimes I like to. And that's too close together right there. That right there, that's that right there, there needs more space. So this is why you want to do a little bit of practice like this um, before you go on to a parchment. Okay, so let's do Tina again. And you can do the hard letter like that. So that one's a little crooked. <clears throat> is the permanent, is that, yes, it's permanent ink. What's on my ruler? It's on your ruler. Oh, yeah, it is. I wiped it off. It's plastic. <laughs> trying to do too much at once. Okay, I wiped it off. It's fine. All right, so let's do another line here. 
Oh, that's going to be wet. Let's do another sheet here. <clears throat> and again, I'm using a thick line so y'all can see it. I don't, you know, when I do it on parchment, I'm going to do, oh, maybe let's see if you can see that. So you really, well, I guess you can see it a little. Um, I'll do it uh, in pencil on the parchment. Now, one thing, if you do decide to use parchment and, uh, and you do want to draw lines if you're going to do, you know, poems, verse, whatever. Oh, and I forgot I was going to tell you all my, uh, my uh, calligraphy story. As soon as I get, get, get my wind here, I'll, uh, I'll, <laughs> I will tell my uh, calligraphy story of uh, meaning, uh, something that was meaningful. Oh, wait, this is not, uh, uh, this is, this is not what I want to use. This is a uh, card stock that's slick. I don't want this. Hang on. Let me get this. Let me get some more of this paper over here. Oh, this. I just want I just want this paper here for practice. Not slick cardstock. <clears throat> so let's go back. Catching my breath. Catching my breath. <clears throat> so I want to get all the names. You know, I'm going to do the five. How many people were there? Six. I have them written down on the post-it note over here. But I want to. Uh, Oh, what I was going to say is if you, you know, you're you going to pencil your lines on your parchment, you want to make, you really want to wait, like technically you want to wait 24 hours before you try to erase your lines because you think your ink is dry. Even with a heat gun, you think that ink is dry and it's not, especially on your parchment paper. It, it does not dry quick. You really want to let it sit. Um overnight before you try to erase the lines that you put down otherwise you're going to smear them okay so what did posh then is that um oh, it's old english letters but yeah it's it's called uh black letter old english all right so let's see all right so we did i practiced a molly a molly and a tina all right let's do uh, the other ones i have a joyce a Leona and Pixie Cora. So Pixie want Pixie or Pixie? She may not even be here. We've got to say things. Okay, so let's do, uh, and one other thing I am going to do is I'm going to take my bracelets off because they're interfering with my hand resting on the paper correctly. Okay. All right. So let's do uh, Leona. Okay. So let's, oh, oh no, this paper's, this one's too absorb. What? This is a different paper. This one is too absorbent. All right, here. Let me give you an example. See how it's feathering? See how that's fe oh, oh, gee. You're gonna have to get down, babe. You're gonna get ink on you. Um, this is not the same paper I wanted. I pulled the wrong paper. There we go. I pulled the wrong paper, and that's going to feather. See how that feathers? Every paper is going to uh, be different. All right, this is the paper I want. So hang on, guys. i got to draw my lines again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's just too much. Too much going on, especially with the cat circling my ankles. <clears throat> yes, it is important to let your letters, let your... Um, uh, let your, uh, what do you call it? Let it dry. This is just a practice. This is just so that I can, uh, you know, get my hand going. I haven't done calligraphy in some months. So, you know. All right, that's enough. That's enough lettering. I mean, enough lines. All right. Um, all right, so now we did Molly and Tina. So we want to do... I know, I know. It's just too much. I'm trying to do too much. I shouldn't have tried to do um, this and the wax seals all in one day, but that's okay. It's okay. All right, where are we going? Leona? There we go. So we can do a couple different ways here. We can do... Okay. 
Okay, and you can also do more little fancy stuff. Okay, maybe put another swirl up there. You can put the <clears throat> um, okay. <laughs> And see, then what I was going to do is take our wax seals that we did. Let me find the album. And it'll be on parchment. And, and you know, put the seal on there. Now, I'm not melting them on. I'm just going to try to maybe just, I don't know, maybe I'll just tape it on with double-sided tape or something. Just so you have the seal or whatever you want, you know. Okay. Because this is how I'm used to doing them, like this with the drip wax, not the you know glue sticks and stuff. But they all seem to work. All right, all right. Let's sip of water here. Cat ran out, so we're good. <laughs> Remember when she jumped up and got in my pan pastels? In my pan pastels and had a yellow blue and red pastel in her fur for like a month and you can't wipe it you can't it just moves if i tried to clean the pastel off of her body she'd just be completely red yellow and blue. <laughs> okay so let's see here pixie and i'm just trying to remember the letter forms i'm not even looking at anything you know it's been so long since i've uh I've, you know I haven't even done a dojo for a while. Let's see. Well, maybe I'll do this. And again, these are just my practice ones before we get on to uh, uh, the parchment. See how I did a little mess up right there? If you have any questions, put it in caps and I'll try to catch it. <laughs> I don't know if it's Pixie. Let's see. We had, oh, Joyce. We had to do Joyce. So let's see. I'm trying to remember a J. Oh, it's a little crooked. Let's try it. Let's start that one over. Oh, I got too much ink on there. Start over. Mm, that's not really correct. I'm trying to remember the correct J. I don't have my uh, sample in front of me. I could just look one up, but, you know. Mm. <clears throat> So there we go, some samples. Is it enough before I go on to, uh, before I go on to this? I don't like that J. I think I wanna, I think I wanna top her on my J here. Hmm, maybe like that. If I have the curve there, maybe. I like that better. It'd be neater though. But I like that J better. That's more of a lowercase J. C would be more of a lowercase. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's do another couple here. Let's do another Molly and Tina. I want to, uh, I, it, you really do have to warm up your hand. I, I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm seriously not warmed up. And the L really should be probably about that tall. That should be a taller L. See, can you see how that break is not correct? I mean, y'all may not, but just just look at the you know look at it from a like a, from your eye rather than looking at it as letters like you can see that right here 
is not correct right there. This is too close to that. And y'all don't, this one's the best one so far, I think, as far as letter spacing. So it's a, you know, it's a little, it's tricky, but, <laughs> but you know, you can also do a more modernized versions of it. Like I'm not even going to use a line. Okay. So like, uh, let's do Joyce again with that J. So you can do other, um, you don't have to do it on a line. You can do it, um. where it's, that needs to be straighter. You can do it on um, like different uh, levels, if you will. What can you do? Cat's back in here. I hear her. She's trying to trick me, trying to be sly. See how you can do it, you know um not not straight on the line yeah so why somebody asking me did i just do this today <laughs> no i used to do professional and i'll, I'll have to tell y'all my story i'll tell you my story while i'm doing these letters on the on a little piece of parchment here do i want to tear them first maybe the cat just shot out no uh uh no ow 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 um my my calligraphy story all right so let's uh move this because i need this to have some cushioning not that it's really cushioning but it's keeping a flat surface whether this has got little paint chips or something on it so like this all right so let's go ahead and if i try to do them about let's see here let's see i need my metal ruler Nope. Can might get some of these I could probably get two on a line, but we'll just and I got a little nibsy thing right there, so I don't want to use that. So let's see. Is that enough there. I think I can get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> about that much. So while I'm doing these letters, and I'll tell you a story about when I used to do calligraphy uh, professionally. That's one, two, is that five? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. When I used to do um, calligraphy professionally, and uh, I was also working as, uh, I've always worked. I've always worked a re real job until I retired. <laughs> to do this full time but um let me move my bracelets out of the way <clears throat> so uh i i was a visual merchandiser i did store displays in department stores you know the mannequins and stuff that was back when there were mannequins right <laughs> now they don't use mannequins hardly ever i don't think they don't even hardly have uh department stores and they very barely have malls you know mall <laughs> and um so anyway i was a visual i was in visual merchandising and i was uh um, let's see how big I got to think for a minute. I got to think how big do I want the letters? Do I want them that big as like I was doing them or do I want them a little smaller? I think I'll just do probably about this much. Just a line. And then I'm down right there. That's probably going to be good enough. All right, let me go ahead and make them all the same. So, uh. And then I can I can tear them down to make them whatever size I want because I just really want it just an inch quarter. <clears throat> so sorry guys I'm I am trying to think of two things at once. Let me go ahead and measure. And then an inch and a quarter. Just get my lines drawn here. <clears throat> I 
Oh, wait. One, two, three, six. I thought I had five, but this one is just a piece. But I think I can get two on here, like Tina and what's the other one that's short? Maybe Molly. I can probably get two on here. All right. And then I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna tear the edges later anyway. Okay, or maybe I should do. I wanted this. Hang on, guys. I have to think for a minute. I have to think of what I how I want this to be. Do I want to do I want to put? Because I'm gonna think of our little um, our little seals that we're gonna put on it. Do I want to put the seal? Hmm. Maybe I'll just surprise y'all how that looks because I don't know that I'm gonna plan that out today. What? Tina's. Do I want it at the bottom? Do I want it like, I don't really want to fold it, not to mail. So I just might do that with the name. W would that be good, guys? What do you think? Just have the initial and in your lettering. I'll have to tear another piece of paper. What do y'all think? Is that good enough? The seal? Because I'm not actually sealing anything. I'm not rolling the parchment and actually sealing anything. It's just for y'all, you know uh so i think we'll just go with that we'll see how it goes or i'll just throw the seal in there i'll do your initial and just give you the seal all right so um all right so let, let me do one and then i'll tell my story so i'm gonna get situated here i'm probably gonna have to tear some more anyway a christmas scenes are sung no wonder your christmas scenes are so nice um, I don't know what this has to do with the Christmas scenes, Poshy. I I'm, I'm don't know what that has to do with anything. <clears throat> A little too much ink on there. See, I, that's too close. That little zip right there so i've got to do that over okay so we're going to move right over here and we're going to do it again because i'm going to tear it apart anyway i don't want those touching A little crooked. Can y'all see that? All right, so then what I'll end up doing is tearing that off and having rough edges. All right. I'm trying to tell, I, I want to get to my story, but I'm concentrating too. All right, so let's see. Let's do Molly. <clears throat> If you're a calligrapher, a professional calligrapher, do not email me. See, I just splattered. I splattered that. So let's move over. You really have to concentrate when you're doing this, not stream it. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. It wasn't for um, a store. I worked in a store when I was also a calligrapher. This may be too wide. And some of y'all have heard this story before. Hang on. I thought I could tell it while I was doing this, but maybe I can't. You shouldn't have to go over it again. That's a little fat right there, but I'm going to leave it. You always have to forgive my unpracticed hands. Okay, well, I'm going to stop a second because I've got to, uh, while I'm, I can talk and tear some more papers. This one's a different color though. Let me get the same color. Mm. I have different colors of parchment. Tear this 
on down. There are my rulers. Now, see, I've already lost my metal ruler. Where did I put it? Where did I put my metal ruler? It's not right here. Where'd it go? Well, <laughs> let me get another metal ruler. I don't know where that one went. Okay. So, when I was working in visual merchandising in a department store, one of the one of the girls that worked there who was our in the housekeeping department. That's about the right size. That one's too thin. Right, that one's a little too thin as well. Let me just do it this way. Hang on, guys. I am so sorry. I just, I am trying to do too many things at once. This this takes some concentration. It, it, there's just no, no, uh, no, no two ways about it. It just takes some concentration to do this little thing when I haven't done it in so long. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, I think that should, we'll see. I'm just going to stop and tell the story. I'll get me a drink of my juice here, my water. So when I worked in uh, visual merchandising, doing the store decorating, one of the girls um, who was in housekeeping, and um, she came to me and said, I really don't have a lot of money to do, you know, get a professional poem done. She wanted a Bible verse is what she wanted. She said, um, but I want to make, I want this Bible verse for someone very special. And I really can't pay, um, pay a lot of money for it. And I said, well, I said, I said, okay, I'll, you know, and I, I knew her from years of working there. Right. And I said, well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you a deal on one then. I said, give me the Bible verse. It was just one verse. I don't even remember what the verse was, but she just wanted one verse on a piece of parchment about this big about how big she wanted it i don't remember the exact dimensions or none of that and she said she wanted to frame it and give it to someone very special to her i didn't ask her who or what or whatever i said well, okay I'll, I'll and i gave her a real like real discounted price so i gave it to her and she said i'm gonna go have it framed and give it to this person and whatever and so some months maybe a, i don't even know i can't even honestly tell you how long it was it was months maybe a year maybe two but it was quite a while later that my best friend at the time her father-in-law her father-in-law passed away and she and they needed to have him um go to the another the next state over from where we were living she needed to have him go to the next state over where he had his veterans burial I don't even remember the whole story of what, you know, why, she, but they, he needed to go to the other state to be buried. And they were having trouble getting his body transferred to that state, whatever reasons, who knows what kind of, you know, regulations or whatever. And, um, but she needed to go to that, that, um, the other state. So she said she went to the mortuary where the burial plot was and she said she was just totally discombobulated. She didn't know what to do, how she was going to do this, what it was going to entail. She said she was just praying. She, and, you know, if y'all are prayers, y'all know, y'all know those God winks. Um, she said, I just really needed something from the Lord to tell me that it was going to work out. Everything was going to be OK. I didn't know what to do, what I was doing, how to do this. And um, so she went to the to the mortuary and she was sitting there and they said, just go wait in there. And the the manager, the mortuary, the guy will be with you in a minute. And she's she's sitting there. She just said, I just don't know what I'm going to do. And she was just praying and didn't know. You know, she said, I just need I just need some encouragement. I just know I got to know that, you know, everything's going to be OK. And she looked up over his desk while she was waiting for the guy to come in. And she saw a calligraphy on the wall in a frame. And she said, 
that looks like my best friend's calligraphy. And she went over to it and she saw my little tiny initials in the corner because that's how I signed things. Little tiny, tiny initials. And, I, you know, this was like, you know, hundreds of miles away from where we lived. <laughs> Another state. And it was the calligraphy I had done for the housekeeping lady who had helped her with the burial of one of her family members. And she wanted to thank him. And she wanted that Bible verse, which apparently was special to him. And so she had, she had me do that calligraphy verse for, her and gave it to the mortuary guy. It was hanging on his, on his wall months, maybe years later, a couple, maybe a couple years. And it was hanging on the wall. And she knew that 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 everything was going to be okay. She just knew. She goes like that was a God wink, and everything was going to be okay. And of course it was. Everything was fine. He, you know, got all the paperwork and everything done for her to get her father-in-law's body transferred to that other state. But that just showed me where you know one little calligraphy, one little small act. It doesn't have to be calligraphy. It can be anything. Can mean so much to somebody down the road, and you may not ever know it. If she hadn't have told me about it, I would have never even known that, right? I would have never known that that meant so much to her. Was seeing that calligraphy on a wall in a different state months later. See, so there's my little um, that's my little Godwink story <laughs> with calligraphy. So anyway, that's that's the one. That's why I always try to tell whenever I'm doing some calligraphy. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish these letters up. Let's just measure this down again. <clears throat> okay, all right, so we got Molly and Tina. And now we're going to do, let's do Joyce. And I'm, I'm going back over here to my references to kind of look at them and see, you know, do I like that one? Do I like this one? Whatever. Okay, so let's do Joyce next. <clears throat> which letter do I want to do the J which J do I want okay. let's do this one You really don't want to lift your pen and do that, what I just did. Okay, let me start over. There's one I marked. I know I got some here that I got here with them, that I have the uh, lines on. <clears throat> I'll have to remember I'm out of practice. And when I do a, one of the certificates for the dojo, I do, I might write it three, four, five or more times on a practice sheet before I do it on the certificate. Because they give me the certificates that are like, um, you know, like I said, like 12 by 16. They're huge certificates and I don't want to mess those up. He always gives me extras, but uh, I try not to mess them up. So I do all of it on um, practice sheets. A few times before I put them on the certificates. And again, you really don't want to go back over your letters. <clears throat> Hello, RC. I see you. You don't have to keep saying hi. You're going to get booted. Just saying. Okay, well, I don't know. Let me just... Uh... Put you in timeout so you can have a little moment, RC. You can have a moment to think about it. <laughs> you, have a, you can have five minutes to think about what you're doing here. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so um, we got Molly, Joyce, Tina. Joyce is a little smaller than the other ones. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, <clears throat> then maybe I made my lines too small. Um, Pixie. We got to do Pixie. So we got Molly, Tina, Joyce. We got to do Leona and Pixie. Okay. So where's my Pixie over there? Did I do a Pixie? I didn't do a Pixie. Yeah, I did a Pixie. A Pixie practice. 
a pixie practice. It's a little fat. We'll see here. No, that's too fat. Let's do it over here. I think I have... No, let's do another one. Hang on. <clears throat> Let me draw one, at least one line here. So if I get too much ink, I got to have just the amount, right amount of ink on my pen. Otherwise, it's too too fat, you know? <clears throat> there we go. That's better. Uh -huh. That's okay. So it shouldn't be that fat right there. Got too much ink on there. I'm just talking out loud to myself, guys. Because I know how it's supposed to look. And when it doesn't look like I want it to. But, you know, we are only just doing this for a <laughs> mini practice. So, all right. Pixie. What else do we have? We got, um, got Molly. Tina, Joyce, Pixie. We need Cora. No, that was Pixie Cora. What do, who do we need next? Leona. We need Leona. Yeah, you can do a lot of fancy stuff, guys. You know, I just haven't done it in a while. I told y'all. <laughs> okay, Leona. Um, what kind of L did I want? Okay, let's see here. Just got to make sure I don't have too much ink. I don't have enough. <clears throat> you really don't want to have to go over your letters again if you can help it. And you get used to how much ink is on your nib. And again, I'm using a nib that is probably not the best one, but there we go. Maybe I want a little bit of a swoop over here. Oh, look, leftover, <laughs> leftover uh, confetti. Okay, so we got it. We got Leona, Pixie, Molly, Joyce, and Tina. I think that was all. Wasn't that all of them? Wasn't there five? Let me see. I think so. All right, let me get my letters here. All right, let me put the cap back on here. Janet, I'm going to stick this in my water. I'm going to rinse this out in my water. Just saying. <laughs> and that water is clean. Well, it was clean. Now it's not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, it's okay, guys. For, you know, for on the fly and being, and I don't know if you can see this. Look, see that? See that little bit of wet right there? That can sit there for an overnight. Now, you can take, if you are really in a hurry, you can take a, a tissue. I, I don't really want to do it. I just want to show you that you can do this. But I want you to know. So you can take a tissue and get just a tiny, tiny little, little tiny bit of tissue. It's a little tissue, and you can tilt it where you can see it, and you can just touch it. Don't move it. Just touch it. And you can you can um, blot up some of the ink. Now, don't use that again. Now you need to get another little spot. <laughs> you need to get another little tiny spot. 
and just touch it. Don't move it. Don't try to just touch it and let the tissue soak it up. See, this very, you can, can hardly see it, but it, see how it's still wet? You have to get that perfectly dry before you come in here with your eraser and try to get rid of your lines. Okay. But I will do this. Let me get a smaller metal ruler. Smaller one's in here somewhere. I have an even smaller one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear these down. <clears throat> to about this size. And I'm not going to attach the letter, your uh, seal. I'm just going to put it in the envelope. And what I'll do is I'll put it in one of these kind of envelopes. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They're a little thicker. Hang on. And I'll put it in a piece of cardstock. So I'll put your, um, I'll put your, uh, letter in your seals. Let's see. Let me find them. I want this one. Let's see. Is this the same size? I think so. So let's have a piece of cardstock here. And I will I'll make sure it's all dry and erased. And we'll put this in here like this. And it will go in one of these envelopes. So, there we go. What do y'all think? Cheap ass pen. <laughs> what which, what cheap, cheap pens are you talking about, Janet? <laughs> Just saw Janet's comment. Okay, so there's Joyce. And I don't want to stack them because that's still wet. <laughs> so I have to find me a spot over here. Hang on. Get a spot. I'm going to move my iPad. Move everything out of the way. Shifting, shifting, <laughs> sliding everything over. All right, so there's Joyce. And we got Pixie. I'll turn this way down. And I can ink the edges. I might ink the edges because just to give it that old look, I'll show you with a sample here in a minute. So I don't want to do anything to this because it's wet, right? So I don't want to touch it. I just want to set it aside to dry. But I'll show you how I can ink the edges. Well, y'all know, you know, to give it that um, old look. Okay, so there's the P for Pixie Cora. Mm -hmm. All right. Leona. I hope it wasn't too discombobulated for you guys today. It was for me, but that's because I was trying to do too many things at once. But Leona. With the cat and tripping over everything. But we got her done. We got her done. Okay, then we got thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, so let's see that Tina. And we have Molly. All right. Here's all our letters and our wax seals. All right. So let me get a stamp to show you. Distress. Let's try this color. We got we got lots of little pieces left over to play with. 
Um, do I want to just do this way or do I want to? I think that's good because it gives it that it gives it more of a messy look this way. And I like that more than doing it with the brush and having it really smooth. You know, I want it to be kind of like that. Oh, UPS is here. I wonder what I got. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is for me or Hubster. And also, speaking of birthday gifts and things given to me, somebody sent me a Visa gift card for my birthday with no um, with no card. So if you sent me a Visa gift card for my birthday, thank you. Um, I had no way to contact you to tell you thank you. So whoever did, if they want to fess up, let me know. What is this? Let's see if this is for me or for Hubster. Hubster rarely orders anything. And Amazon usually comes uh, Amazon truck, not UPS. So I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's some paper. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, I ordered some uh, I ordered some uh, papers. Hang on, let me get that. Just some more tone tan paper which is a little bent, some tone tan paper. And then the other day I ordered this too. So I have a couple new, let me back up now. It usually comes uh, through Amazon, not through UPS. So um, this is the tone tan paper is what I use for portraits. Um, tone tan cardstock. This is what I do my uh, people and pet portraits on. And it's really flashed down. There I go. So, um, yeah. So I ordered more of this because I was running low on my portrait paper. And then I also got some of this tone tan paper, but it's different colors. So it's gray and it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, car, it's not cardstock weight, but it's thicker than regular paper. But it's got some colors in it. <clears throat> Again, this is smaller, but for different projects. Uh, for my portraits and my people and pet portraits. So that's what came. Nothing that exciting. Nothing that exciting. Okay, so... All right, so while we're sitting here for a minute, if y'all have any questions, comments, any, um, you know, anything to say <laughs> about anything we did today, let me know. Um, hopefully... Um, Xandra will go back and watch where I shouted her out for the Barbie stuff. I appreciate it so much. And if y'all missed seeing my Barbie photography mermaid thing, oh, well, that's, I can do that for a couple minutes. I'll sh I'll go back to my um, I'll go back to my uh, Procreate. We'll do that for a minute. How about that? Yes, it is Tina. Different color papers. Okay, so let's just move this off to the side. Let's move the parchment paper. Let me get my eye pencil. My... Go back to Procreate. We'll just play with this for a few minutes. And I'll show it again. That uh, Let's go back to Procreate. All right. So I'm going to show you the... This is what the... Oh, I've already started playing with it. Okay. So I already showed y'all. This was the original that I just started playing with again. Let me if I can lit, set this down and zoom in. Let's see if I can do that. Rather than trying to hold it up in the air. And now let's kind of turn down the light just a little. It's a little flashed out. Okay. So this was the original, although I did play with it a little bit this morning at the beginning of the show. 
So what I did is I knew I wanted my Barbie because Xander's our, our resident mermaid, right? So I wanted to do a Barbie in at the beach in a bathtub thing. And this is a silver like tub, uh, oval tub. And I wanted her to have the mermaid legs or the mermaid dress on that Xandra sent. That was part of the... Um, that was part of the uh, things that she sent me. So I knew I wanted her in there with bubbles, a lot of bubbles. And I did not have a full scene, beach scene. So what I did is I had a bunch of pieces of paper. I had one, two, three, four, five pieces of background paper and two pieces of sandy paper. So I put the sandpaper down, well, the sandy looking paper, and I just had all these different pieces of paper. So what I did is I just took a photograph of it and I did, and I've already played with it this morning. So there's more bubbles in her hair than there really was. And then I just went in and blended, um, let's make sure I got the brush, soft blend. And uh, so I went in with the soft blend and let's do the opacity. And size and what i did is then i just went in here and blended out the lines where the paper was connected now i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this probably not i might have to hold it up let's see let's try yeah i'll hold this up so like right here this piece of paper here and that piece of paper now that's some waves right but right here so i wanted this gone i wanted that line gone right so i just went in here and blended the two together and i have it on small i could put it up a little bigger so i just got rid of the lines same here for this between the brown beach and the blue water i just kind of blended them out I didn't really try to make it a full-on beach scene in the background but i just didn't want it to look like pieces of paper stuck together so i just worked on this for a while i I drew this blue line, so I went over here with the brushes, and I just did a, uh, so that was, um, that was in the artistic, so let me go back to, all right, so I just went into the inking, and I got some blue, I got some dark blue, and I just went across here and put some more, put some blue horizon, put some blue horizon, and then again, then I went back to blending it, and and then I could just soften the horizon line. Same thing for the clouds. I put some paint up here. Let me put some more white so you can see that. All right, so let's go to the white. Let's go to this brush. Uh, let's go to the white. Okay, so. All right, so I'll just put some white up here. Well, you can't even see it. Uh, tilt it there. So I just put some white up in the sky. And it's not wanting to flash out. And then I just went in and blended it all out so it could look like clouds. So I played with that. Then I went in with the brushes and went to, uh, let's see, under artistic, I think is where it was. Artistic. And I used, was it Aurora? I think it was Aurora brush. And so, and I drug some of that across to make it look, let's make it less opaque. A little less opacity and a little bit there we go size and so then i made it look like bubbles i need to be bigger made it look like there were bubbles in her hair and coming down see you can just if you don't like it you can just you can double tap or go back and, you know anyway and uh, so i put bubbles more bubbles in her hair i put more bubbles around her so she was real you know sitting in in more bubbles than I actually put her in bubbles. That's really soap in there and bubbly soap. She's actually sitting in bubbly soap, but um, it wasn't enough. So I added more. See down here, you can see where I can add more. See down there. So after it was all said and done, then let me go to the finished one. Here's the finished one. But after I posted on Instagram, look, I noticed I did not fix that line right there. So when these two papers should have been blended together and I, I did, I missed it. I missed that. I think I just saw the hair and I didn't catch that right there. So, <laughs> so I usually don't do much, uh, 
editing or anything to my Barbie photography. But in this case, I wanted lots of bubbles. I didn't have a background, so I had to blend my own background. I wanted bubbles in her hair. I They wouldn't stay. By the time I'd scoop out some bubbles and put them in her hair, they would melt by the time I'd take the picture. So I said, well, I'm just going to go in there and procreate and put bubbles in her hair, give her more bubbles. Look at all the bubbles I put down here and then blend it out the background. <laughs> so, um, Line, oh, the line in the sand. That's good, Barbara. Oh, that has to go in the book. Let me get another. Um, do I have any? Uh, where's my post its? Oh, here we go. Which Barbara said that line in the sand? Line in the sand. Good one, Barbara. Which Barbara was that? Barbara Chicken Pot Pie or another Barbara? Oh, is that, is that you saw it, Zandra? Okay. So, um, yeah, which Barbara said that it's got to go in the wingnut book, which I have to put the wingnut book back together. It fell apart. It was just like everything this morning. <laughs> so one of the Barbers said this <laughs> line in the sand. That's good. <laughs> Chicken pot pie. OK, so that's Barb. So I know which one it is. OK, that'll go in the wingnut book, Barbara. We're just sitting back here waiting to be put back together. So anyway, I like playing and procreate. I don't do it a lot. I don't do it enough. I'm not that great at it. I just really play with some of the photography or sometimes I'll play with one of my pieces. Like, let's see here. Which one do I want to show? That's probably the most obvious. Okay, this one maybe. Wait, let me go back. Is okay. Here's one. Is this one? No, that's not one. That's not been done. Um, maybe I should use that one. Okay. So in this one, uh, what I want to do. And this was a collage that I did, and uh, the what I wanted to do in Procreate was make this um, little glow around their little heads. So I just put these little glows around their heads in Procreate. So, you know, you can do a little tweaking, you know. I'm trying to see what else. But uh, here's there's where I was trying to do a color book page with that. I didn't really like coloring in Procreate, although I did like coloring. Uh, I did this Baby Yoda a few years ago for... Um, the guy that drew it, I did the coloring in Procreate. So this was done, the coloring and the glows and the, yeah, that and the stars. This was done, this was colored in Procreate rather than just regular uh, coloring. This was all, this was all done in Procreate. Let's see. Um, um, here's the skull. So I did this skull. Um, Cameron had found this skull. He took a picture of it. I took the picture. I put it in Procreate, put it in space. And what I want to do is put a little astronaut flying in the eyeball. That's like the window into the spaceship. And the spaceship is this skull. <laughs> so this background is done in Procreate. Let's see what else. Um, come back, come back. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, what else did I do in here? Mm, put that animal in there. I'm trying to see. There was one little step thing that I did that I thought was really good. Let's see. That one. But I've tweaked a couple of my collages. But, you know, I don't do a lot. I don't do a lot. I just like if I need stars mostly. If I need a thing of stars like this one, I think. Yeah, those bubbles there. This was going to be this. I did this collage and I wanted it to be undersea, but I got my little astronaut there, right? And I wanted bubbles. So you can go to the brushes and there are bubbles. I'm not remembering where they are right now. No textures, no. 
I think it's in effects. Is it in ele not elements, luminance, bubbles. Yeah, it's the bokeh lights. So I use the bokeh light, the bokeh light um, brush and bokeh light all in there. And then I went back and put in bright star, bright colors in the bokeh. So I had the bokeh brush and bokeh lighted the whole thing because it looked like bubbles, right? The bokeh looks like bubbles. And then I went in and each in each bubble there, you see, I put a color in there. Not all of them because I wanted it to look like bubbles. So I got my little underwater astronaut going in there. So there's one that I did with Procreate. Oh, would you please? <laughs> do you work with what you do, Anna? Yeah, I don't do a lot, you know, and, and I'm by no means an expert at it, but it's fun to play in there every now and then. And you can get so detailed, right? You can just zoom in so much and do so much with it. Like, uh, yeah, there's my little astronaut. You know, I can put like, let's go back to the brushes. Let me go to, uh, let's go to a flare. So we'll get a flare. And we'll get a color like let's do a let's do a orange flare. Let's do an orange flare. Let's do it bigger. See, it doesn't look orange right there. The camera's flashing it out. <clears throat> but uh, if I did it red, it would show better. I don't know. So, and if you don't like it, you just, you know, you can double tap it back, but I just take, you know, my, see, but uh, anyway, it's, it's just fun to play with. <clears throat> well, I guess, I guess that's, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Hobster's not coming home for lunch because he has to take out the new people. They take out the new people on their first day. But we did do our lettering. We did do some practicing. And little bits of... We all, I'm going to ink the edges like, you know, a little bit. Not quite this much, but a little bit of inking around the, um, the uh, parchment. And I've got a couple little scraps here that I can use. I can use some of these scraps in a uh, junk journal, art journal. So, any questions or anything, guys? I hope uh, it wasn't too discombobulated for y'all all day. Because <laughs> it kind of was for me. When the cat starts coming in and messing me up, then it's, then it's not good. But. I think y'all got some ideas with the, uh, let me pull back up the seals, the wax seals that we did earlier, if y'all weren't here, let's turn this around, see them on some white paper, and Pixie Cora, I don't know that I have your address. Joyce, I don't have your address because I haven't mailed you anything in years, Joyce. So I need your address too. Y'all send me your addresses. Here's my email. It's my email and my PO box are always in my about tab. But um, just to make sure I have your address, I don't share your address with anybody. Oh, let's see back there. Um, not even the mods. I don't share your addresses. There's my, I'm double checking it. There's my email. Email me your address. Yeah, so there's, uh, that's one of the drip wax things with the, just a number two in it. So we just did a little bit of practice. We did a little bit of the gold leaf, which I didn't do neatly. But let's turn the light back up. Uh, and, uh, Let's see. This one's kind of cool. I like this one with the mix of the yellow and the black wax with the bee on it. It kind of looks like honeycomb and honey. I like that. So 
anyway, we did a little bit of practice. Mary, Altier, Mary has got it down pat. She just needs, to, I don't know if she, has Mary got one of these? She needs to get her one of these if she doesn't. I think she does. I think I saw her using one. This is so much golder than the rub and buff. <sighs> so I'm glad y'all had a good time. I'm going to head out. Don't forget Janet comes on at 1 uh, Eastern. I come back again on Wednesday. I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 8.30 Eastern. Follow me on Instagram, either Dee Dee Willingham or Inky Well, I-N-K-I-W-E-L-L, -L, for all my portraits, my Catterday, my Barbie photography. Everything's on Instagram. I love me some Instagram and YouTube. That's where, that's where I do everything, Instagram and YouTube. All right, guys, I guess I'll head out. Hope you all had a fun day. Thank you again, Zandra, for all the Barbie goodies and uh, we will see you either at janet's or aunt beck or you know some of the other if y'all don't follow the people here y'all go look at their channels go follow devin rex devin rex art she's now reti retired and doing her art full-time and youtube raul has his drawings on his channel so yeah y'all make sure and check everybody out it doesn't cost anything to follow people even if you uh you don't have to you don't have to do the bell if you know you know it's not something you're interested in getting every notification but go follow people to encourage them and um don't forget to leave a thumbs up and thanks guys for the super chats today i appreciate you guys all right bye <laughs>